I never said your name. Why are you speaking about me as if you know me? I spoke about you because you spoke about me. When you mentioned my name, I mentioned you. When, when I said when, when I made when I made the video, and I said don't compare me to an NBA player. When did, no I, when, did, when, when did I mention your name? You wasn't talking about me earlier when you took the shot? Sir, you said Michael. I looked up to Michael Jordan. I was abused. You said something that, about listen, me. Listen, listen, listen. That was that was sarcasm. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do for that, you is, That wasn't listen, about listen, me. Listen, listen, let's be honest. Listen, listen, listen hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. That wasn't about me. Let's, listen, let's, let's, let's nip this in the butt. As a man, I'm going to apologize as a man. Because the reality of it is, you didn't do nothing to me. So to cut all the bullshit, as a man, you didn't do nothing to me. I stepped on your toes. I respect some of the things. First of all, let me say this, right? When I first started hearing about you, automatically, the first thing I said was boule. I didn't do my homework. My homework. I didn't look to see whether you was on um, a credible dude, which your fight was. Later on, I started. I seen on um, the Judge Joe Brown joint, which I thought was dope, or whatever the case may be. But just to give you who I am, when it comes to anybody that comes from Hollywood, uh, the music industry, any any of that, I look at everybody sideways. So I prejudged you according to that. But as far as who you are and what you're doing right now, your message, some of the things that I've caught up on and I listen to, I respect your message. As a man, sir, so but sir, you didn't say that about 30 40 minutes ago. What I said was not set for 30 40 minutes ago. What I said was a response to the indirect that what you said about me on earlier today. But listen, bro, you've said something about me indirectly in three, maybe four, even when you spoke about me the first time. When somebody asked you, What do you think about Kwame Brown? you said, I like him, but. And then you went on to talk about all this stuff. And even today, you talked about an oath. And I'm telling you that anytime you go to prison, you sign an oath. You sign an oath to be a slave for white boys. And that mentality that you're preaching and you going back to the hood as a married man with jewelry and chains on, are you prepared to kill someone? Because that's what you would have to do to be in the hood by yourself. So to speak the way that you're speaking, how old are you, sir? 44. You're 44 years old with children, beautiful children, may I add. Thank and you. I've seen you put them on the internet. You have a wife. You have a beautiful yard with flowers and dogs, which you should <laughs> be enjoying. But you steady going back to the hood to prove what? What you would have to do to protect those chains and to protect the thing, to brag about being in the hood. If somebody approached you, you would have to kill that person or hurt that person. Is that correct? I don't see your point. The point is, why would you put yourself at risk when you have a family to brag like that about being in the hood? If somebody saw you online and ran up on you and you do something to them, you will be going to prison, leaving your wife and your children. Why would you go to the hood when you got nice flowers like that? And First fish of all, for one, I live in the hood. For two, I have family in the hood. For three, God made this earth spacious enough for me to travel through wherever I des decide to go. So whether you have jewelry on or you just traveling and you have a glow to you as a person, when I, when, sometimes when I travel, just like when you travel, some people may recognize you, they may not. I'm not going to stop going to the hood based off of what somebody feel about me. That's not going to happen. That's for one. For two, I don't have a point to prove to anybody, but at the same time, I'm going to defend myself if I have to. But, the, I mean, the reality of it is this conversation shouldn't really be based on whether I'm going back to the hood or not. But it's the way that you're going to the hood, though. You're the going to the hood with chains on. The you go to the hood saying, yeah, I, I, I can go to my hood. I can do this. I can do that. That's braggadocious. Let me explain and, something. And you, right? would have to, you would have to hurt the person that come up to you in the hood. You, you a real street cat, right? So you know there's rules and regulations to the hood. You don't make yourself look like food in the hood. I can't be in a blood neighborhood wearing blue. There's rules and regulations to the street. And you going back to your hood. While you're a grown ass man with children 
And if you were in the hood with that many flowers, that's a nice ass hood. With that fish tank and that nice stuff you got, if that's the hood, you no, that's nice not the hood. hood. Okay, that's not so the hood. I'm talking about where your family is. That's where you should stay. Because what you would have to do in order to brag like that with chains on, you would have to hurt someone, which would take you Hold away up. from your family. Hold up for a second. Give me, give me. I'm trying to figure out. So you're basically talking to me about me going to the hood with chains on. I think that you you you're way too articulate as a, as a man. You're way too smart as a man to be talking about whether I'm going. Our conversation shouldn't be based off of whether I'm going back to the hood with chains on. That's I, not I, what I don't, I don't get that. That's okay. Let me explain. And like I'm, I said, as a man, hold on, I apologize hold on, to you. I apologize look, look, look to you as a jury. man. I understand the apology, but look, hold your wrist up. Hold your wrist up. That right there makes you a target in the hood. And what you, you know make me hold up. You know what hold makes up, me a what target you say in the hood? Also makes hold, you a hold target. Up. Hold up. You know what makes me a target in the hood? Because I, I hear you breaking down like I'm glorified going to jail. But do you realize that I got beef with a, with every major rapper because I talk about the poison that they spew out from speakers? Do you realize when I when I go down to Harlem, I got beef with damn near everybody down there? Damn near every every gang I speak out against every gang. How you say gang gang? I speak out against all that shit. All of that. Everything that's going on in the hood with all these young boys killing each other, these parents sitting up in the, in, in the park drinking Hennessy while their kids are shooting up the block, I've been speaking about all that. So my whole thing is me personally, like I said, if your message, which I respect the fact that you got in Charlemagne's ass, I respect it. I don't rock with that, man. I don't rock with nobody that take pussy. Nobody. But at the end of the day, I stirred this pot up so as a man, I could apologize and say, you know what? I came at the brother first because I was raised. But my whole thing is like, I mean, if we're going to build, I'm not really building about whether I'm going to be in the hood with jury because I'm going to be in the hood with the with jury. Okay. So I that's, feel like that's what I'm saying. Let's expound on that, though. You, right. You, is it not true that if somebody run up on you by yourself with jury on, what would you have to do to that person? So if somebody ran up to me, if somebody, if somebody ran up to me while I got my jury on and they tried to take my jury, it's going to be an all out war. So why put yourself in that situation at 44 with flowers, a fish tank, kids and a wife? Why put myself in that situation? Yes, sir. Do you ask them, 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 uh, them rappers why they put themselves in that situation? Yes, sir, I did. I said that earlier today, I said some of these rappers, a lot of these rappers should not even have friends because all they do is get the people around them killed by their mouth and get the people around them arrested because they talk tough and they get kids from these neighborhoods like me and you are from that don't know trades and don't know skills, but they know how to harm people. And they don't know the results of uh, and the consequences of what happened. 15, 16 years old, these boys are killers. And they're doing it at the direction of bad OGs and bad pussy ass rappers. And I'm saying the things that you're saying and the glorification of going to prison, you started speaking about men hold up. in jail. You hold I'm, up, hold this up. Is my hold, up. hold on, hold on. You Let got, me no, but you got, you got you my message. Your opinion. You cannot argue an opinion. This is my opinion. And then when you I took what I had to say the wrong way. Okay, it can't be the wrong way if it's an opinion. We got to get people to understand what an opinion means. This is not based in fact. This is my opinion based on what I heard you say. So let me get it out. My opinion, and I took it this way, so therefore other people can take it this way. You talked about gangsters, and you said it in a way that made it look like you was glorifying being in jail, being around other dudes that was in jail and got busy because you said there was no names behind me. So what does that tell young youth that they need to be? Don't be the guy who went to the NBA and, and became a basketball player because that's success. Whether I scored 6.1 point, my mama was on a golf course. Don't be the guy that put your mama on the golf course. Be the guy that go to prison and have your mama send him some money. Is that what you're telling the youth? 
Hell no, that's not what the that's how you that's how you took what I said. But so that's not what I was it? saying. Okay, go ahead. That's absolutely not what I was saying. You got the what I was saying. What all right. So what I was saying, just to make you just to make it clear, right? What I was saying is when I say don't compare me, like for example, also I also mentioned Styles P, right? And what, what Styles P what Styles P was saying was how civilians are not snitches. So everybody was in my DM sending me that. And my whole thing is I've been saying this for like four years on YouTube. Why does it take for a rapper to say the same thing that I'm saying? Just like a lot of the things that you're absolutely that you, that you're saying is the same thing that I'm saying. So when I'm saying don't compare me to somebody in the NBA, it's no disrespect to you. It's just basically saying that your struggle and my struggle was totally different. I'm not glorifying the prison life. I'm just saying I had to go through the hellfire. At 18 years old, you was rich. I wish I wish that I could have sent my mother off and bought my mother a house instead. At 18 years old, I was in jail for murder, and my mother had to move out of Bronx River to Far Rockaway to get to, to get away from the crime scenes. So I'm not sitting up there saying that I'm glorifying that. I'm just saying that the path that you took, which was a good path, and the path that I took was a different path. So when people be comparing, like my options and your options was totally different. It's what I, mean, I was trying how, to say. How can, you, how can you say that? You can't come to that conclusion. There's no options. It's decision making and behavior. My behavior was different than yours, so I got different outcomes. You got to start telling kids the truth that if you glorify street life, you get a big homie and you look up to men and worship men that rock nigga snot box, then you can go to prison. And if you look up to basketball players, you can go to the NBA and put your mother on a goddamn golf course. So to say it in the way that you said it made it seem like you were better than someone who went to the NBA because Hell you were no. prison. But I'm just saying, you, and this is the thing, no one can ever be right with you because you also say on one end, there's no celebrities talking this real. There's no celebrities saying what I'm saying. And then when one say what you're saying, you get mad because you've been saying it. So which one is it? Do you want celebrities to talk like you're talking? Or do you, because that's what you want, right? You said celebrities need to stand up for the community and be real. So once they do that, you have an out. You double talking because then you can say, well, that celebrity ain't connected to us and he ain't real. He ain't been to jail and all this other bullshit because you really want the shine for everything. It's not about the shine. It's about the message. I could have not let people share my YouTube videos. And at the time I'm having the hottest week, I could have took that money from that week and left the Internet just like all the Black Lives Matter people did. I could have did that. You're you're in certain things about somebody that you don't even know. That's ignorance. You said I took an oath. You said MJ was elbowing me. You said all these things that you know nothing about. And all that to a black man. And you're a Muslim brother. And white folks have been using black people to it. I'm not afraid of no white man. You know why? They can't do shit right now in America. We are talking about each other. You talked about a man you don't know, and I believe it's for YouTube algorithms because it seems like you have a stick. You beef with the guy, then you apologize, but you done made the money you made, but you done connected yourself with a person. Hold on, let me stop you for a You've second. You've been talking about my money hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. the entire time. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Super for, test, one, for, for one, I don't care about your money. Your money don't mean nothing to me. What you I spoke care about, about it several hold, times. Hold up, right? hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me let me make myself right, clear. Right, for one, right, right. for one, I don't care about your money. For two, the video that I made about you, we don't have the same audience. I got the least amount of views that I got all for the whole month or for the video that I made about you. They because they listen, listen, because we don't have the same audience. That's not true. Right? It's no, we don't people don't understand. Listen. People listen, don't understand listen. why you're attacking a guy. Listen, no, about that's bullshit. Face. People, when you learn YouTube, people don't give a damn about nothing but drama. You've been on YouTube since 2013. That's not and true. It, in, in, in a minute. That's not true, sir. It, it shows. Where it shows it show? the date when you got on YouTube. Look, look on your own page. Okay. It shows been the making date videos. When... You, didn't, you didn't just start making videos two months ago. You've been on YouTube. So when was my, what's the oh, date of my up. first video? Hold up. Got it. I, you, you I, I bought it. 
I bought my house in 2015. My first video, I'm in my bedroom talking about basketball. See, you're repeating something you heard somebody say. I have you tell, you, you tell me what, what, what year what sir, year did you sign on the YouTube? Sir, everybody signs on the YouTube just so they can watch other people. We're talking about being on YouTube making videos. My first video, go look at it. I'm in my bedroom. There is like an orange background. I'm talking about basketball. It's like a little clip. I barely even knew how to work it. Okay, but if you so go look at my Facebook, just like Ticket TV, shout out to Ticket TV. All the things I'm saying now, I've said on my Facebook. All right. So you got on YouTube with drama. You came straight through the door at war. This is what niggas love. That's the bottom line to it. I've been on YouTube long enough. Niggas That's is ignorant. That's what you did, sir. You war with Tommy Sotomayor for no reason. I came to YouTube. I talked to dudes behind the scenes because I was in the so-called. You said I war with Tommy Sotomayor for no reason. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Where sir, the fuck did Tommy come from? Because I saw you. Tommy? On his, yeah, I'll tell you. I saw you on his show arguing him, coming in, doing the same thing you're doing now. And so when I came to YouTube, sir, I called dudes behind the scene and said, yo, what you're doing is lowering players contracts. What you're doing is wrong. Talk to me like a man. That person went to Instagram and said, fuck it, we joking. So I said, OK, let the jokes begin. And then I alleged that there was a go along, get along game. And then now an economics doctor was talking about me. Every platform that Charlemagne the God is talking about me. Public records said my daddy is a murderer, but nobody talked about it until Charlemagne the God, who's connected with all the smoke podcasts, said it. The, the, the number, the black first number one draft pick. Now you talk about all these conspiracy theories, but you won't allow yourself to go down this rabbit hole. The well, first, well, hold up, what rabbit this hole? Rabbit hole. This is the rabbit hole. The first number one draft pick ever out of high school from a free lunch line. Daddy's in prison. Single mother after that day. My dad created. They were married. Never made it on the Black Breakfast Club, which is a mostly black watch show until they were talking about my murderous daddy. You don't see a problem with that? I never knew that. He said it on the Breakfast Club. I don't I watch them niggas. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't make the Breakfast Club for being the number one draft pick, but I made it because my dad did something that I didn't know about. You don't see a problem with that. Oh, I see a big problem with that. I'm and just as far saying. as whatever, and, and as far as see, let me tell you something, right? And I don't say this to glorify, but where we come from. If your dad caught the body, we're going to help him bury it. And then we argue about why he did it later on. That's just where we come from, in the hood. So as far as your dad doing something to committing a crime, all of us were subjected to the ugly elements of the hood where we had to make poor choices like that. It's just like you said, right? If I go outside right now with jewelry on me, as soon as I go outside, my antennas is up. I'm not the, I'm not, I'm not the same dude that I am in front of this camera. Now I have to transform. And, and like you said, yeah, you put yourself in a situation like that. You wear a jewelry, you walking around the hood or whatever the case may be. But that's a decision that I made. If I feel like I want to look nice going out or whatever the case may be, I want to look nice. And I go outside and I defend myself. And Charlamagne, get, he gets on the radio and decides to uh, make fun of my, uh, me being a father. Or to my son, yeah, I understand what you're saying. I just caught a body now. Now I'm in jail. And he making fun of you. I understand that clear as day. But in the hood, we do not do... For, for, for catching bodies, if you're defending yourself, we but shut it later on. We this shut, my, this we is shut my it. Thing. This is my thing. You, you, you are a conspiracy theorist guy. You talk about this boule and all this a lot. Can you? Are you part of the boule? No. Can you? Uh, if if I was a part of the boule, then why am I on all everybody's tongue now in a negative light? I'm in everybody's tongue on a negative light more than the young lady who just bought a house in the all white neighborhood that was saying she was gonna destroy the nuclear family and you ain't talking about her 
more than you talking are about. You kid- are you kidding me? I had a conversation about you twice. I talk about that rusty, dusty bitch damn near every chance I get. As What's a matter of fact, if you, as, as a matter, I don't know her name. All I know is she eat pussy. Oh, so but, I talk yeah. about, but who I deal, who I deal with more so than her funky ass is Tamika Mallory and my son on a daily basis. I don't let him because my son come from where I come from. So I don't let up on Tamika Mallory and, and my son the ambulance chases at all. That's who I deal with because they the umbrella of Black Lives Matter. But, I've been dealing with Charlemagne. I've been dealing with Charlemagne before you. As a matter of fact, Charlemagne almost had my whole page knocked down. I don't even know how he ain't get you. I had to appeal it. Charlemagne almost had my whole. He put his lawyers on me. So the things that you getting away with, I couldn't get away with. Charlemagne almost rocked my snot box. He wasn't playing with me. He sicked all the lawyers. That's why Star didn't handle Charlemagne himself. He sent me at him. Because Charlemagne fucked himself. He brought up my sister. He brought up my daddy. He brought up my brother. Uh, if he would have put out a lawsuit on me, then we would have countersued for all the people that he brought up their names that had nothing to do with nothing. So Charlemagne is not as tough as you're trying to make him out to be. I didn't say that cat was dumb hold up. I didn't hold up. I seen Charlemagne get punched in his face and run out and run down the block. I ain't never said he was tough. You well, never seen nobody talking about, in my I'm face and be running I'm down the block. About, I'm talking about in the legal arena. There's well, he did, he, and there's listen, counter suits. He almost made me lose my page. YouTube wasn't playing. I had the appeal. And one, one of the strikes that he gave me, I did not win. But I understand that. But see, I never spoke about Charlemagne until he spoke about me and my family and my sister and all the things that he said. Those things that he said, he didn't have to say. He used iHeartRadio. And he's connected to, he has a vested interest in all the smoke podcasts. So he should have never done that. He put his own foot in his own mouth. So I alleged that there was a go along, get along gang. And everybody is talking about me as an individual or my family. Why isn't nobody talking about coding? Why nobody talking about we crying and yelling and jumping in the streets. And I said, all we need is a business plan and to go down to the Chamber of Commerce and make the same people that gave $90 million to Black Lives Matter give it to those coding and youth centers. Have you Why ever watched any of my videos? Huh? Have you ever watched any of my videos? No, I'm talking about in the videos that you spoke about me. You, you No, outside about- of that. No, no, just I'm not, past. no, no, I just want to deal with that. In the videos that you spoke about me, I would have rather you spoke about the things that I said that could be revolutionary to the community. Coding, you know is, coding is the wave listen. of the future. Is, is it or not? Listen, coding that's is why, listen, really that's why, my listen, that's why I apologize as a man because no, I, I understand the apology, listen, but listen, I want to ask you. Hold on. Listen, this is your, one your of videos, the questions I wanted to ask you. Listen, would your coding videos, and trades help the black community? Trades and coding is what we what we have been robbed of as a people, and I've been saying this for years. Our fathers and forefathers built America, and now if you sat up there and you told us to build a deck, we couldn't do it. If you told us to fix a flat, we can't do it. AC, uh, uh, AC refrigerator, we cannot do it. So yes, that would. They took all of the trades out of the school. I've been saying all of this, but sometimes when you speak the way we speak, and see, you caught the wave on YouTube, because you had to defend yourself and you had to fight. So you you brought the crowd. And on top of the fact that you are an NBA star, whether people like it or not, you are somebody that's on another level. That's why when I tell people, I'm not saying that I'm on a, a higher level than you. I'm saying that if you could even mention my name in the likes of somebody like Kwame Brown, then it's like, yo, you know what I mean? You're on another level. You're an NBA star. I'm a nigga from a hood that's basically bus. trying to make, huh? I'm a busty bus. I'm just saying the methodology is different. You have 300 and something thousand subscribers. If you cared about your message, you would allow people. You know what I did? I just did something different. I care so much about my message and what I'm saying, and I believe in it so much. I never cared about the money. You talking about people sending me super chats. Do you know how many people are eating off my videos? Do you know how many children... And families, and you know how many YouTubers that I shout out and bring up? You could do the same thing with your platform. I'm not doing what, the same thing. 
I don't know. I, I, that's what no, no, I'm not saying that. I said you could be, so I don't know. I am, yeah, I am. I I'm definitely so, do. As a matter of fact, I, I don't know, you but hear, what I'm saying is me shouting out and playing all the music. Not I'm not a rapper. I understand, and, but that's and one, I, that's and one I could genre. Lose. That's and, one and, area. And, and people that have clothing, why don't people that have clothing on my Instagram, my YouTube. Listen, listen, why don't you allow people? To use your videos, cause some of the stuff you say is right. I tell people. I can honestly listen, say some of the I stuff told, you say is right. Hold on. Why don't you I, let told, them use it? I told Bullet Scotty today, right? Told him today. I said, go ahead and use my videos. I told your boy that you hollered out, which is my boy. I was locked up with Z Banger. You shouted Z Banger out. I told Z Banger a thousand times over. Stop taking Michi X videos. You don't know her. If she get pissed off, she can flag you. Take my videos and you can remix them. Anybody that's affiliated with me, as long as you're not disrespecting me, you can take my videos and make you some bread. I told everybody that because the people around me is not doing it. So why not let somebody else eat? I said that and I just finished saying that again today. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. What if they're not disrespecting you? Because some people use my videos and they don't disrespect me. They just disagree with me. And I don't listen, flag them. I don't do you that. You could disagree, if they disagree with me. With you, then what? Well, you could listen. You could disagree with me, but the minute that you start saying Thyson Campbell and ignorant shit like that, like for example, see the one thing I respect about you because I was listening for a second, right? You never made fun of me being molested. That's not something to make fun of. I never heard you make fun of me, mm. and that's something that I say, like for example, with um, when you watch The Matrix, right? And I say this all the time. Well, you see Neil fight the Chinese man. He apologized for him first, and then they started fighting. And he said, why did you attack me? He said, because you never know a person until you fight him. So now me sitting up there and analyzing you, you never made fun of me being molested. You wasn't talking about my mother and what she didn't do as a parent and all the rest of that. So like I said, as a man, I prejudged you because one thing about me, I don't like it's like the Matrix. When Agent Smith hit somebody, he, he, he turns them. And when I look at the industry, all I see is how, you know, certain groups like the Black Panthers and other groups was infiltrated. I don't trust the industry. So I put that label on you automatically. It's like it's like basically somebody stealing your wallet or being molested. Once, you, once you've been molested, you don't trust nobody around your kids. They got to earn that trust. You got you to gotta earn that trust. So when you came through the door, it was like automatically, I didn't even know what your fight was, what your struggle was. It was like, all right, this is just another dude coming from Agent Smith. He coming from the government. He boule, and it's just a game going on. And so let me ask like, you, let me ask you this. What, what did I say? What did Because you're supposed to judge a man off what he say. That's why I apologize to you as a man. Because you didn't say, you didn't, listen, oh, you didn't oh. say absolutely, listen, you didn't say absolutely nothing wrong. I jumped out the window. That's why I apologize. As so, a man. But we got to understand why things happen. What made you jump out the window? I understand the apology as a man, and that sounds good. But we got to get to the root of why you did it. Why, I'll give you an example. All, I, all I've been talking about, my message has been plain ever since. I was joking on some bitch ass niggas that was fucking with me. And in the midst of those jokes, I talked about Chamber of Commerce. I talked about trades. I talked about business plans. I talked about opportunity zones. I talked about connecting with the elders. And I talked about fourth grade reading levels. What did I say that made you judge me in that way? That where you, because I understand that movie. It wasn't you. That it was a movie you that say, you, that was a listen. movie that say you attack somebody to know how they fight. That was just a movie. You, you don't know, attack you know people in real life. You know what it was? When people kept coming in my DM about you and others, automatically, as soon as I seen you came from the NBA, I didn't do my homework on you. Automatically, I said, fuck that brother. He one of them. But Craig but, Hodges was in the NBA. Listen, um, listen to me. Hold on, but listen, you can, that's what I'm saying. You got to stop I don't know that nothing. Listen, I, I don't know that. nothing listen, listen, about, I don't know listen, nothing listen, about listen. none of these other I'm, dudes I'm you mentioned. Hold on, I'm trying to educate you. Craig Hodges, he's your Muslim brother. Uh, Mahmoud was in the NBA. He's your Muslim brother. You cannot make a blanket statement saying that if you're a successful black man, you are part of some boule. That is bullshit. And if you keep preaching that, that's going to cause a divide. 
and what you preach calls division. I came to YouTube saying we're all are, we all are nothing. That's what the Bible tells us. I don't say I'm a celebrity. There's not celebrity air. There's not a celebrity casket. There's not celebrity embalming fluid. Me and you breathe the same air. Whether you went to prison and breathed air, all of y'all are breathing the same shit. So telling me I'm something that I don't believe is not going to make me think I'm wrong just because I had a job. And there's too many titles and labels you guys put on people in order to stop the conversation. That's not educated. We got people now, their only argument is to connect them with a person that they don't like. Oh, he's connected to Candace Owens. Oh, he connected to this. He connected Let to me that. ask you a question. Hold on. I said, no. I like the way Candace Owens speak. I like the way Ben Shapiro speak. You know why? He don't attack anybody. He'll attack the subject matter. That's it. We've gotten so lost as a black people that majority of us, not all, that all we do is attack a person based on who they're affiliated with and we attack the man or the woman. We don't attack what they're saying. I'm saying kids need skills. We need coding. Why am I being attacked? You are absolutely right. And as long as you stick on your message and your message is positive, you ain't got to worry about me attacking you no more. But what I will say is, in my defense, right, we can't sit up there and act like the industry hasn't been used as a weapon against the own urban areas. We Just like, for example, right, I just watched the video with Juvenile, a rapper. Mm -hmm. He switched, up, he switched up his lyrics. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to that. You're right. Back, back, back that ass up to back that back up. So now he's encouraging our people in the, in the ghetto to take a vaccine that the FDA did not approve. Meanwhile, the military is about to start going to urban areas, the one that they promote in this vaccine to the most, and use the military to knock on our doors so we can take this vaccine. But they use a juvenile, somebody that's been to jail, that's been that's from the hood, like Louisiana, the hood of all hoods. So this dude is in the industry now, and he is a nuclear bomb to us. He's a straight up, if the government didn't approve of this vaccine, why would a rapper approve of it? Who paid them? So this is why I prejudge people that comes from the industry, any part of or any aspect of the industry, because the reality of it is, it's just like I said with the video with me talking about Jim Jones, right? Jim Jones came out repping the bloods. He was the poster boy. It spread it like cancer. Now all through New York City, it's a, it's a bloodbath. None of these 40 and 50 year old men are saying, yo, you know what? This is going too far. Let's use our voices to stop it. Now, nah, what you're seeing is, is the imagery of 40 and 50-year-old dudes that don't look no different from a 15-year-old throwing up gang signs while they kill each other in the street. So when you start to see the reward that, in, that NWA, NWA was rewarded. All of them who came from NWA is damn near a billionaire off of the death culture that they gave to our, our neighborhoods. Jay-Z was the first billboard. He was like the scar face of selling drugs. Look at the reward that they get. And then after you achieve paradise on this earth, you send your children to the best schools, give them the best life, while y'all sell poison, sell penitentiary to our children. So this is where I prejudged you the wrong way. I didn't even listen to your message automatically. Like, like I just prejudged you. That's why I apologize. Because I'm a man. And when you're wrong as a man, a man is going to apologize as a man. Because men make but mistakes. See, uh, but, but see, also a man does his research before he speaks. A man doesn't feel, a man doesn't think, a man knows. So you should have known before you spoke about a man. It's, uh, it's always interesting when I hear men do, do stuff that I don't think is manly, and then they think just because they apologize, that's manly. That's not manly. I don't, I think before I speak, and then I, uh, I get an understanding before I say anything. That's why when I watched video after video of you talking about me, I had to wait and understand why is this guy talking about me? 
I had to think about been two videos. Hold on. I had to that think been about a lot of videos. Oh, I, I didn't interrupt you. I had to think about what I said to this brother. I had to think about was I malicious or did I do anything wrong? And all the check boxes said no. So my thing is this: it's interesting every time I hear a hood dude talk about industry and make it seem like success means you sold out when we glorify the dudes in the hood that got bodies. We glorify, you glorify the tank head brother. And I don't want to speak on a brother I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. You, hold on. I'm mm. only speaking about what you said, sir. Mm. You said this out your mouth. So the names that you said, I don't want to speak on all the names because I don't know. So this is for educational purposes. But apparently all these brothers were in prison with you. And so if, if I had to go off of the numbers of who you probably shot at, stabbed or hurt they probably look like me and so we glorify that and make that seem like that's better and not we that, hold on you make it seem like that's a representation of what's black a guy who harms black people a guy who sell drugs to black people and then you'll talk down on somebody who get a fucking job and just because they got a job that got zeros behind it Somehow they're worse for the community than people who kill and take away motherfucking sons from their mother. You're going to make you, that seem like it's better than going to get a job. You starting to sound like Tommy Sotomayor, like a master. No, 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 no. I'm, ask, I'm asking so, you a question. What, what up, listen, hold on, hold on. What, no, all no, right. No, so let no, me no, ask no, you. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me without, ask you. No, hold. without comparing me to another man, I'm going off of the things that you say out of your mouth. I can play the video of your words. Don't say I sound like somebody. Your words were, was, I was in jail with such and such. I was in here with such and such. They'll run up on you and ask for a belt. Nigga, we was the school, the hard knock. Ain't no names behind him. Da, 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 da. You made All right, that so sound, now. Hold on, hold on. You made that <laughs> sound better. You made that sound better than getting a job. You made that sound like people who go get a job is against his community when people like you brag about killing their own people in their damn community. How is that better? Hold up. Uh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. For one, I can I play the video that, that you said. Hold up. 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 For one, you regurgitating my words the wrong way. No, those are where your exact for two, words. For two, hold on, hold on. Me I'm say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, hold on, let me finish. Let me Go finish. Ahead, but, you so can play you, the video. If I, listen, saying, I don't, I don't, you, hold on. If you're saying, I'm saying you're you're not telling the truth. If you're going to misrepresent me by you, saying hold up. You can can't say the, that I'm on, telling let, the, You can't say that I'm not telling the truth. Hold up. You can't say that I'm not telling the truth because you ain't giving me a chance to speak. No, you spoke already. What I'm saying is. No, absolutely, I did not. You're speaking. And I you ain't giving me a chance sure. to speak. And I instead of you, and, and instead of you could play the video and I could still break down because you can't comprehend what I was saying. So, so what you you're doing like is divorce. So hold, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, what you know what you're doing is you're trying to give your own interpretation, your own commentary of what I'm saying no. from your own perceptive instead no. of letting me give you what I was saying from mine. I'm trying and to even still what listen, you actually say. Listen, it. listen, listen. Even still, listen, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bottom line to this, I don't see because it's starting to feel like a dog chasing his tail because we no, talked about not. the same I thing. Want, I just want to but you still cutting me said. off. If I sat up there, right, and I apologize to you as a man, why are we going backwards? Sir. I don't I don't hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's for one. For two, if you want to play my message, I got four years worth of messages. Don't I sit up there and play a message. Hold up, let me finish. Because you're doing a Tommy Sotomayor right now with the cutting off. You are articulate man. You ain't got to chop my words or stop me from talking because people can understand me clearly what I'm saying. What I'm saying to you is bottom line to it is my message in my video was don't compare me to somebody that didn't have the same life that I had. The bottom line to it is you cannot compare uh, Sean Campbell or Kwame Brown to those kids in Afghanistan. Our pain is not the same. I don't care what you say. Some of those kids that seen three or four generations of their family die in one day. We can't compare to them. So when I was talking about you, 
I said, you can't compare to what I've been through. And I know it. I can see it clear as day. And it's no disrespect. And I can't compare to you the things that you did for your mother. Can we play it's, with you? Hold up, hold up. Don't, hold up. You stop it. You, you too eager to stop what I had to say. You can play with I'm being quiet. Listen, I'm just, I'm just want to interject. But you're cutting me off. I never cut you off. You're cutting me off. At the, end, saying, at the end, listen, you gonna say, I mean, listen, don't filibuster. So you what, I, what to, I'm going to say to you, you is still, at, the end, at the end of you eager to cut me off, though. I want to play your actual words. I'm not going to cut but let off. me finish. Listen, let me finish saying what I got to say. Then you can play it. I can hear what I had to say. I stand by everything that I had to say. So when I say what I have to say and you play what I have to say, I'm not going to backstep or backtrack on what I had to say. Because the reality of it is, personally, I don't really even see the point of going backwards once a man apologizes. I really I do. don't. But it's a, oh, it's listen, a difference of opinion, though. Listen, it's, it's listen. Fine. We just disagree. Listen, at the end of the day, it's cool to disagree because there's not, no, actually, we don't disagree. Can we, let the happened, people, can we let the people hear what you actually said out of your mouth? Go ahead, go it's, not me, it's not me cutting you off. It's, it it, it, it's funny how people frame things after they say something that play it. Cut this the is talk what, and play it. Yeah, this is what play you it. said, sir. Go ahead and play it. Self talk. They're gonna be on your head, boy. <laughs> Cause uh words, boy. Woo, Lord, 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 Lord. Stand by my words. Uh is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. And most of them indoctrinated in thinking street hold life on. is what hold on, hold on. Let me let me uh share it with the screen. And you got another video of you talking. And it's very arrogant, just like this one. And if you allow me to play your video, I'll go on your page. If you're not going to strike me, if you can say I can play. I'm going to strike you. You can play whatever okay. you want to play. Then I'll play the one off your page as well, and you're very arrogant in that one. But this is your words, sir. I'm not talking over you. I just want to play your words. Being a man is, and most of them think going to prison or going to jail teaches them how to be a motherfucking man. When the Constitution said you giving up your rights and you being a slave to white boys as soon as you go to motherfucking jail. You got that from me. It's better for the system when you got little boys thinking that they got to go to prison and be a white boy slave to be a fucking man. I had a nigga on the internet talking about I went to jail. Don't compare me to no basketball player. <laughs> Straight up. Don't compare me to no ball player. You grew up looking up to Michael Jordan. We grew up looking up to Big Meech. Don't compare <laughs> me at all to a basketball player, right? Let me make this clear to you. Don't compare me to a basketball player. At 18 years old, some went to the NBA. At 18 years old, I was on Rikers Island with dudes like Tankhead. Wild Bill, huh? Ferguson, Jerm, K-Born, Bishi, Rell, Tattoo, so many names, Smooch. You grew up looking up to Michael Jordan. We grew up looking up to Big Meech. Sometimes a nigga gotta rock a nigga snot pot. All right, so let's get into it. There's a difference. You laughing, let's get into we it. Love we love Michael Jordan. You laughing, let's get into it. But stop comparing. Don't compare me with, don't compare me with, <laughs> they got $60 million at 18 years old, don't know what it's like. He was a slave, boy. He laughing, he making me you laugh. Over somebody who put his motherfucking mama on a golf course, that's the shit you telling these boys? Okay, so we heard you, let's go. What's good? You never met me face to face in person? The fuck are you talking about? You don't know shit about me. That's what's wrong with you men talk so effeminate. You don't hear me calling out men there. Who makes you different? Who makes you different? What the fuck are you talking about, motherfucker? I don't me. And I know you can't fuck with me. Because if you could, you wouldn't talk like that, boy. Then let me calm down before I snap. 
I go crazy. And I maybe act like my dad. It's a goddamn shame. So many people want to fuck with a man that said put code in the schools. Everybody want to talk about the man. Nobody want to talk about code. Nobody want to talk about the trades and the effects of what it would have on the community. Nobody want to talk about that. They want to talk about the jokes I made. They want to try to diagnose my mental health. But motherfucker, you wasn't worried about that when you was calling me a fucking bus and a bona fide scrub. You don't think that could have affected my mental state? <laughs> hey, so how the fuck you double talking bitches gonna act like you care about somebody's mental state? Hmm. Damn. We in a simulation. This is a game. Every motherfucker they tell you not to like, you better start investigating it and finding out why they telling you not to like. It. Look past the bullshit. Cause I think those are the people you're supposed to like. And the motherfuckers they prop up and put in front of you, side eye. Cause there's something about them more. Look like they all connected, I think, to white zaddies that tell them what to do. We see, we keep talking about we want our community to change. We want our community to change, but we won't address and deal with the situation and the condition of our black males and why they are like that. Why a 15 year old and a 14 year old, it was so, when I had that restaurant in Savannah, it was so many 15, 14 years old walking up the street, running from police until they turn 15, 16 so they can drop out with a gun in their pocket, nothing in their head, just worried about hitting a lick or trying to do something tough. Ain't really got no beef, but got a gun. Fucking with other niggas for no reason, just because they don't fuck with them. Okay, don't fuck with them. Don't shoot them. Don't fuck with them. Really don't fuck with them. Nah, fuck that bitch ass nigga, OG. I'm not your OG. So many of these little boys like this, and you wonder why you can prop up a motherfucking punk ass celebrity or a scary ass rapper, and then they can go pay little motherfuckers like this, and they will shoot every and any motherfucker they see for an opportunity. Because we didn't teach these kids a motherfucking thing. We want to goddamn talk about voter die, voter suppression. Fuck you motherfuckers. You've been suppressing these black boys. I don't want to hear shit about why Kwame ain't talking about this. Why the fuck you not talking about black boys reading their third and fourth grade fucking reading level? Don't tell me what the fuck to talk about. You talk about it. I'm talking about what the fuck I want to talk about. Isn't that my right? Isn't it all inclusive? So the moment you say some dumb shit asking a question about me, ask yourself why the fuck you not talking about it. Still think I'm crazy. <laughs> why won't we address instead of always dissecting what somebody else is saying and it's attacking the person? Every motherfucker I talk about, I talk about directly what they say out of their mouth. I don't tell them what to say. I don't say this and this and that. Jack was a stupid son of a bitch that said, we with Maria. We gonna ride for Maria. Goddamn show. We are our people first. Get himself talk. What the fuck you thought? Because you know we ride with Maria. We gonna ride with our people first. That's just how it go. Because you know we ride with Maria. We gonna ride with our people first. That's just how it go. 20 minutes later. We all ramble. We say things and we're frustrated. And, and, you know, Rachel did deserve that job. 20 minutes. Uh, we, we all ramble and get frustrated. Uh, we all just say stuff. But uh, she, goddamn uh, Rachel, she, she the best. Uh, hands down. I talked to her. Deserve the job. <laughs> she, fuck you, though. And Matt will tell you too, turn the channel. You're asking me for my opinion or thoughts. Uh, I was waiting uh, to go through this, but you know, uh, uh, Maria is good. This is Kendrick Perkins. Yeah, you know, uh, Maria, she's a good person. Turn the channel. 
know, in some way they went as long as you <laughs> Go down the list and they all got them saying the same goddamn shit. That this goddamn white girl is the best thing since sliced bread. And the only way the black woman got a job is because it was goddamn a, 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 a sympathy job. It wasn't a genuine job they wanted to give Maria. Not all of you guys. Not all. Not all. There's some of you rappers hanging by yourself. And some of you rappers do it the right way. You got security. You either don't rap like that or either you got security. And that's the smart thing to do. But it's some of you rappers. All you do is push death and destruction to your community. Some of you rappers, all you do is get your family killed, your friends killed. Some of you rappers don't need to have no motherfucking friends. And maybe it'll fix that mouth of yours. Because some of you rappers walk around here like y'all some goddamn gods. Because you got these little boys from the neighborhoods in some of the worst goddamn conditions, and they'll do every motherfucking thing you say. And you think that's mean you're a hell of a nigga. And that's sad. That's somebody mama's son you got doing that. That's somebody mama's son that's going to have to do them goddamn years. While you out here fucking and doing everything you want to do. Sending them little money when he around a bunch of fucking men. While a white boy said, child time, nigga. Get your ass up, boy. Go take a shower, boy. We're going to lock you down until we let you out. You go work in the field, boy. It's a white man going to make him do that. Isn't it Bob Barker? Who, who making all that goddamn money when these boys go to jail and these women are sending all their goddamn money to these jails? And that's why so many of these women can't build nothing because they keep helping you motherfucking niggas because the white people in the music industry keep telling you motherfuckers that the best dick and the best motherfucking niggas are prison niggas. And I'm here to tell you, that's a goddamn lie. And I've been quiet, tans and ass up. That's a goddamn lie. That's just the nigga you can control. That's the big, buff, strong ass nigga that you make six figures and he just got out. And you can tell him, shut your big bitch ass up. So you can't tell me to shut my big bitch ass up. I'm going to look at as soon as you say that. Where the fuck my shit at? Who the fuck you think you. <laughs> who the fuck you think you talking to? And it ain't toxic. It's just who the fuck? Who the fuck? That's just what I tell my daughter. If a man talk to you like, man, you better get your motherfucking purse and call your dad. You better get your motherfucking purse. First thing you do, don't argue with this nigga. Get your purse and call me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get your purse. Don't say shit to this nigga. Say fuck you on the way out. Fuck you. Don't stand there and argue with no man. He can snap. Yeah, we ain't doing that. In my household, I don't teach no woman to argue with no man. That's a, that's a, uh, that's a waste of time. You're going to have to call a white man. But if he do something to you for that white man, get that anyway. You leave and call me. Yeah, yeah, we we know how to handle that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 <laughs> we we will handle that. Shit, I stay in shape for situations like this. <laughs> yeah, I jump up and down in situations like this. Shoulder roll on situations like this. Yeah, yeah. Might have to hold up now. Hold up, we got you because I don't want to play no more of my shit. We got you, and then I think we should open up the chat and let people question you and ask you why would you be talking like you talk? Look at you, you look like you just disgusted with me. Look at this. Shit. I didn't talk to you for a minute, Kwame Brown. Like, look at this. Everybody sent me show sent me a little video. Little now, video. This respectful, right? I'm gonna be as respectful as I can be. First and foremost, when I say don't compare me to an NBA player or none of you celebrities like you, for example, I'm not glorifying you. Don't play. Don't play military mind games with the people. I'm not glorifying prison by any means. When I say at 18 years old, I went to the penitentiary 
and at 18 years old, you went to the NBA. It's not because I'm glorifying. It's because there was a there was a long path that led to my downfall going to the penitentiary. There's a story in between of pain. Is what I was trying to say. And see, that's the thing that's lacking, that's missing in your story. <laughs> my story is filled with pain from childhood. Your story in your pain consists of Michael Jordan elbowing you in the face or <laughs> smacking you in the back of the neck, telling you to do 100 maps. My pain consists of not having a father, sitting outside on welfare cheese lines, going to the store with food stamps, dealing with the evil stepdad. Your pains? Well, you got 60 million, 40 to $60 million for your pain. You took the oath for your pain. Yes. The same matrix, the same industry that you speaking out against, you took an oath to. For me, I'm gonna just keep it all the way funky for you, homeboy. To me, you was real as Santa Claus. Respectfully, because to me, you ain't no different from Captain Kaepernick. He picked the weakness in the black community, took a knee and ran away with the bag. For the last two years, respectfully, Kwame Brown, New York, Black America, all across America has been in turmoil, protesting, rioting, gun violence. Everything's been going insane. You've been on YouTube since 2013. Nobody heard you taking on the problems of the Black community. And in them streets, nobody's seen you anywhere in the hood trying to defuse the violence or anything going on. To me, you have a smell of Callan Kaepernick. We didn't see too many grave chases, too many, too many ambulance chases in the hood where people feel like, okay, we're gonna play on we're gonna play on the pain of black people. So your story to me is like Santa Claus. Your introduction back into poverty, which is us, because you're not soliciting the rich. Your podcast is not based off of you dealing with the elite, the 1% that you are, that where you come from. Nah, that's not where you rock it with. What you're doing is you come along with your come along, go along, get along game, right? You still, you still install my whole style, my swag, my words, my topics. I'm listening to you. Okay, cool. Because I do respect some, some of your message. I respect it. But I'm sitting back and I'm watching. You come along at a time where the industry is sprinkling you industry dudes. You, you rappers, you Hollywood, the music industry, it's just coincidental now, but for the last two years, the power of the black voice on YouTube that come from regular YouTubers, like let's say for example, uh, 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 um, Spiritual Zone. Shout out to the brother Spiritual Zone. Been up here teaching these young boys and breaking down what he's been breaking down. You got dudes like me, for example, but let me put me to the side. Even Young Farrell, I don't rock with Young Farrell like that, but Young Farrell been up here teaching his lessons. You have been nowhere. It's been the small people who started from poverty and pain out here waking up these young boys or teaching lessons on social media. And then to combat us, first they try to take away our check marks so we wouldn't look like celebrities, but some of us got so strong on these platforms that they couldn't do it. So now what they do is to... to, to, to to dumb down our numbers, they come sprinkle you celebrities. You know, like the sprinkles y'all put all over the ice cream, sprinkle you celebrities to come. Y'all not, y'all haven't been here. We've been going through hell. Y'all been nowhere to, to be found. And now all of a sudden, you come in to identify and act like you one of us and you can identify with one of our, our, our pains that we've been through in the hood because the coach made you run extra laps. They made you sit on the bench. They made fun of you. Charlemagne talked about so daddy. Is your claim to fame in YouTube? And I'm supposed to fall for this? See, I don't really care about the people saying, oh, you're jealous. Jealous of who? An NBA player who made $60 million 
who bought his mother a house? I wasn't fortunate enough to be able to buy my mother a house. I was trying to rob Peter to pay Paul or pay child support. I wasn't fortunate enough to have the, the lifestyle where somebody pushed me through high school because I couldn't really go to high school like that. You know why? Because on the pack. Now, although the brother apologized, he's making a lot of claims that he don't know nothing about. I'm a part of this. I'm a part of that. They push me through high school. Motherfucker, do you know what it took for me to get through high school? These things that you're saying, separating the room is what I'm talking about. You're separating the room. Can't nobody that make money. You have an attack on successful black men. If you're successful and you're black, you hate them. I have an attack on industry niggas. But that's not industry. I'm, a su I'm, a, I'm, I'm successful. But, but hold on, hold on. You're talking about a man you don't know. I got a job. Just like there's a job being a neurophysicist and all this other shit. The NBA is called the business of basketball. You may not know that, but it ain't a motherfucking game. That's why none of them can't say the shit that I'm saying. So to label everybody, what if we label everybody in, in different drama or something like you're doing me, sir? You said I wasn't this and I ain't. A, you're trying to separate the room based on success, saying I'm not part of something. When I was in the same motherfucking free lunch line with you, I had the paperback food stamps with you. I had to go get the I know what the ones look like. The, the one dollar food stamp where you tear it out. I know when All mama, right, so, so let me ask let me, let's cut the chase. Put the cola at the bottom of the motherfucking shopping cart and they tell you don't pull it out. Listen. I was, picked it up. And you did. Let me ask. Let me ask, let me, let me ask you a question. I'm, I'm let gonna let you, I'm gonna let you finish. Hold on, your video almost done. We're gonna let you finish. They were trying to shoot me. That's what I had to go through in the hood. I got pushed and pushed and pushed till I had to push back. Then I ended up in jail. That's not where I wanted to go, but that's where I ended up at. I had to sit back from 18 to 21 fighting a homicide case, a body in the I had to sit there and fight that, watching dudes in the box. Take a crack in the milk carton and throw it in each other's face. Some of them got so mad they had milk cartons, they would hold doodle in their mouth, just to spit it on the next person. Your struggle was not mine, or none of ours for the most part. You've been rich longer than you've been poor. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you come through on YouTube with drama. This shit is so staged, it's like the Santa Claus story. The Santa Claus. So now you're the mouthpiece for, for, for us out of nowhere. But you took the same oath as Charlemagne. You took the same oath. The same, the same, the same crusaders, the same conquerors, the same slave, the same slave masters cut your chat. So please forgive me, Kwame, if it's hard for me to understand or respect or not even so much respect. It's just like I can't. I don't believe you, man. To me, you dudes is no different than the dudes that infiltrated the Black Panther Party. It's always somebody there to infiltrate everything that we do. They come and take it. Now, YouTube was Black YouTube. It's starting to get too strong. Our voices are being valued. So what do they do? They put us against us, but they use celebrity star power. Everybody wants a platform now. From Fat Fat Joe to Jim Jones to like everybody is getting a plan. Everybody wants to talk. Where were y'all at when the people needed y'all to reach out and communicate with these stars? Y'all rich. Let me ask you a question, Kwame. You got, you said 60 acres of land. How many families you got living on that, on them 60 acres? Because charity begins at home. So how many family members do you have that have a house on your 60 acres? Right. I wait. Matter of fact, I don't even care. Because like I said, for the last two years, I'm not even talking about decades. The last two years, Black America been in turmoil. And out of nowhere, for the last two months, you just pop up here like you just all about the people. And your claim to fame. It's not even basketball. It's because you got picked on on a basketball court. And we spoke, and you comparing your pain to our pain. Yo, let me tell you something. All of y'all people in the comment section, man, you know what I want y'all to do? 
Tell me some of the worst experiences that you had in the comment section, what you've been through in your life. Because I know where we come from in the hood. This dude is sitting up there talking about the worst thing that ever been that happened to him is what he went through training for basketball. Y'all think that we don't know that y'all go through humiliation rituals? You think that we don't know that y'all go through what, what they call hazing? Yeah, you think we don't know that y'all took oath? You took the oath? The same oath the rest of these celebrities, basketball players, you took the oath. They allow you to be on YouTube the way that you on YouTube playing this military mind game. Brother, I don't trust none of you. I see we've seen too many of you. Rappers turn into politicians. You know I'll be coming, my song. We've seen too many of you acting like y'all for the people. Poverty pimps. You got people sitting up there donating in your super chat and you got over, you worked over 40 to 60 million? And you taking money from the poor? You're worse than a pastor. Get your hand out of my pocket. It is what it is, man. I'm out of here. I ain't got to go back and forth with you, but I don't bite my tongue, homie. You smell like Colin Kaepernick. Black America's all in turmoil. He took the knee, he took the bag, and now he's gone. Kwame, I hope I'm wrong about you. I ain't got no beef with you. I don't want no smoke. Forgive me if I don't trust the same industry that you come from, that you flipping on. That's the problem with a lot of you black people, right? You can't even pick a spouse. Damn, you're not black. Some of y'all can't pick a baby mother. Some of you can't pick a husband. Y'all can't even keep a relationship for a year and a half to two years, no longer than that. You give birth to a baby and then your, your family structure is broken up within a year. So how the hell y'all gonna be able to spend, how y'all gonna be able to spot a spot? If you can't even pick your own spouse, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, or not. I don't care. And I'm out. He was like, Who you were talking about when you were talking about y'all? Let me let me say this real quick, right? I'm not even gonna play the game of going back and forth. I said what I had to say. I even apologize like a man. The one thing I'm not going to do is sit up here and, and, and play this bullshit game that back and forth. That's for one. For two, let me explain something to the audience. The ones that sitting up there saying, you are lame. I take care of my motherfucking wife. I take care of my motherfucking kids. And I take care of my community. So if that's what makes me a lame, I'll be a lame. I personally don't give a fuck about what none of y'all feel unapologetic i apologize to you as a man and that's it but as far as me being on, on trial and having to answer to niggas I, I fuck i look like answer to any of you niggas he the dick straight like that the fuck i look like answering to any of you niggas all right take I, it, I, I, I wish i wish i would i wish i would sit up here and answer what the fuck you niggas look like me answering to you niggas what i what i look like like really? You're as a man? Answer. As You're a man? Answer. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on, as a man, where... as a man, okay. hold up. As a man, when I apologize, hey. I, I hold up. I humbled myself. No, but that's as far not as true. Said, but as far no, as far because the reality of it is, it's 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 hard for me to apologize to niggas that I feel like it's soft. You feel like I'm soft? If you sitting up there talking about You didn't answer the question. You had to go through yeah, about. I feel like you saw when you sit up there talking about the hardest thing you've been through is niggas sitting up there hazing you. You've been running. That's what you said. I ain't say that. See, you're not even that's that smart. You must be drunk. You said that the hardest thing I ever been through is a basketball practice and all that. Motherfucker, I was in the homeless shelter. What the fuck are you talking about? That shit is over with. Nigga, you've been rich you longer than you've been poor. You've so, been rich wait, wait, wait. longer than you've been poor. That's a dumb argument. You say it's over with. You well, said my argument. Well, my hold up. Well, my now argument you is over me. hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You talk, nigga, you played. Listen, you played. You played all of that shit for like forty minutes, and now you want to still talk because you like to hear yourself talk like me. And but I recognize some of me and you. It was your video. So let me talk now. Listen, you I don't want to hear me. I don't want to hear me talk though. You got me listening to. I don't want to hear me talk. Bottom line to it is, at the end of the day. I'm not here. These are your leaders. I'm not here 
Right? Hey, no, I'm hey. not. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, Listen, yo, let me explain. Let, hey, hold, hey, up, hey, hold, hey, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, 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 hold up. First of all, hold up, first of all. First of all, first of all, hold up, hold up, hold up. First of all, for one, I wasn't talking for a minute. For two, for two, I don't even know who the fuck you is. So let him say something. Go ahead. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, listen. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold on, hold up, hold up, son, calm down. I hey, go ahead, brother. How everybody doing? Peace to everybody in the chat. Peace to um. Oh, so he muted my brother. mic. No, you hey, still on, but hold up. I don't even know this nigga. You okay. got me listening to hold up. How you want hold up, bro? You drunk? We know you don't know him. Just let the brother speak. Just let him speak. Calm down. All right, go ahead, bro. A lot of these um these online woke community people act like they don't know me, but they know me. Um, yeah, I call them black fanatic agents. That's exactly the name I got for him as well. Um, they know wild Indians. I'm the one who educate all the people about staying in their community and not turning into a black identity extremist. But knowing that you're an Indian, you're American Indian. You've been here. Most of y'all been here, and that's what I am. And when you said you was a Geechee, I caught on yeah. to it. I caught yeah. on to it, brother. I ain't no yeah. more, I ain't no Hebrew is like I'm American Indian. I have nothing against nobody. Yeah, damn right. But we yeah. got a woke community, right? And we got these guys that pop up out of New York. And New York is the main place when I do my history or where these jackasses like to do they get along, go along shit. And they pop up out these New York and they and they and they and they get they they all get this YouTube like Sinetta and these people like that, they get them started. They think Yeah, he ca he called me and I didn't answer the phone because he let a uh, guy called my mom a B-word on the show, and he didn't stop, but he with the black conscious community. Um, They duck me. If you come to my station, I'm growing. And they ducking me because I deal with community trust. I know what's our problem. I know how we locked in. And identity ain't one of them. It's, it's, it's being us. And all this black fanatic shit, this, this caring about everybody that got the same color. We went to Egypt, and we crossed the seven seas shit. That shit is imaginary. And you don't love your land. You fell off who you is. You turned into a black fanatic. And conspiracy theorists, black fanatics like this guy up here, this guy up here that's telling you that everybody in the industry taking a blood oath and drinking blood and, and sacrificing goats and shit, fanatics, fanatics like this brother right here, keeping you scared, keeping you always worried about the white man. Like we, first of all, it was people here passing for white, still going as white today. You don't know what they is. You don't know who people are because they haven't done their genealogy or produced that to you. Now, I'm from the hood in Chicago, and I know everybody. And I'm getting bigger, and they hate that because I'm speaking on this black fanatic, uh, black African, we was all slaves. We had white slaves. We had black mm -hmm. ones. We were killer moors. We was killer all that shit. We had slaves on these, on these platforms. They was whites. They ain't just did everything. They in the same predicament we in, and we all in it as American at this point. You have to wake up. You have to stop letting motherfuckers like this and that pan-African shit because you love Africa more than America. You is not black. You're not black. You're not a Moor. You're not Hebrew. you American, whether you like it or not. And him right here, him right here, oh, the oath, the Illuminati, the mystic, the mystic that, the mystic, your imagination going places that you don't need it to go. You been here. You farm these lands. You ate from these lands. You ain't Damn come on right. no five month trip drinking no salt water, eating no biscuits on the bottom of no boat with no white man in charge. You ain't black. You in this predicament because you won't take accountability, brother. You won't take accountability and say that's how I raised my kids. And that's why he that's why he ran. And that's why he ran. I didn't want to I didn't want him to leave the chat or cut him off, but he won't let somebody else talk. He, he wanted to over talk. He didn't even want his own words to be played. He kept talking about you over talking me, you over talking me. That's bullshit tactics. I'm trying to play what you said out your mouth. Every man should stand on what they say. Now, what's up? Thing? What you got? Hey, hey, shout out to you, my brother. I appreciate you. Shout out Chicago. Appreciate Show you. everybody. Tell everybody how to get in contact with you, bro. Hey, man, we do our thing at the um on Wild Indian slash Tribe Beers. If you know want to know what Tribe Beers is with me, get up with me on my line, man. Email me at the Wild Indian on um, one slash Tribe Beers. We all around Chicago. We connected in Atlanta. We're connected with real people and telling, showing them, showing them, not telling them their heritage and who mm -hmm. you really are and being American and being pan-American, not pan-African. Mm -hmm. And we're not afraid yeah. of that. 
We know our yes, ancestors sir. as Indians, and not all of us were slaves. Love and damn right. Thanks for the opportunity. Follow me. Shout out to you. Shout out to Chicago. Yes, sir. Salute to you. What's up, ticket? Big dog. What's going on, man? Hey, hey shit. <laughs> hey, look, I, I was driving. I had to hop in because I heard you tell them. It amazes me, man, how people that that they think you they they really think you cloud chasing, dog. And I I remember, like I, I tell people all the time, they always ask me, man, why you why you take up for Kwame so much? I said, bro, I was listening to the dude on Facebook before he was really putting all the kind before he really blew up on YouTube. They don't really understand why you blew up. You understand what I'm saying? But you was had the same message then that you had now. You know what I'm saying? Can you tell us, sign Campbell that? Hold on, let me bring him back in. Can you can, can you listen to sign and he could tell you about yeah. my Facebook, sir? Tell yeah, him. No, no, no. I was a witness. I was a, I was a witness. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people do think that. You know what I'm saying? We both play basketball. You play on a different level than I do. I play overseas. You play in the league. But sometimes people think, you know what I'm saying, that we came up a different way. Sometimes we all came up the same way, but we just had a different, we at the at a crossroad, we had a different path. Like it was dudes I grew up with. You know how I go, Kwame? Yep. You gonna go one way. You can go to you can go play ball, you can go get the scholarship. You one mistake away. You going to the streets. Away. Going to the streets. Away. Right. Yep. Which one you gonna pick? And I yep. and I knew some dudes that tried to do both and ended up dead in the game. You know what I'm saying? That was trying to play ball and do the street life. And one of my homies, he got smoked like that. But I just came on because I wanted to tell the brother Hassan that I was a witness that you was talking the same talk back on Facebook but way before you blew up on YouTube. And the thing was, is dudes was, was fucking with the homie, dog. The same way dudes make videos about you, Hassan, dudes was making videos fucking with this brother, man. And he 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 came back at him. And this has been going on for 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Just relentless, just attacks on this dude. And he said nothing. And it amazed me how when he finally said something after 20 years of attacks, that now people say he cloud chasing, he this, he that. When everybody didn't see how they was going on national TV, they had a dude going to colleges and high schools talking shit about this man on a regular basis. You understand? Know so that's why I was saying, bro, like, I think that you might have just, like you said, you I respect you came in. You apologize to the brother, man. That was some real manly shit, though. But I was just saying that I witnessed that. So when he came over here, it, it wasn't like he, was, he wasn't already talking about that. He blew up because you know how people are. They they magnets and they fleas to the bullshit. So when the shit started to fly, that's when Herb, that's when he got everybody's eyes and ears. But he's been talking the same thing he's talking now back then. And I was a witness to that. That's why I, I, I was playing his videos on my channel back then when he was putting them on Facebook. But then, like I said, when they was going on these national platforms saying shit about the man still, and it was overkill, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking with the man, fucking with the man. I always wondered for 20 years why he ain't ever say nothing. But like I said, he don't say something for two months now, and now everybody mad that he attacking, he he hitting back at these dudes that was attacking him. So, you know, like I said, though, bro. I'm going to unmute his mic real quick. All right. Hold on, son. Unmute yourself. There you go. Yeah, man. Go ahead. I mean, my whole thing is like this, right? Once a man apologizes, grown men move on. When you start bringing dudes on the platform to tag team and jump, it starts to seem like, you know what I mean? It gets, it gets messy. That's the bottom line to it. So I'm, I'm few words right now. I'm, I'm here because I ain't running. But at the same time, I'm not going to keep on talking. I'm not going to keep apologizing. I'm not an ass kisser. I feel like I am the clout. I ain't chasing nobody's clout. I said what I said, and that's it. Bottom line to it is, we, we, we blog, we vlog, or whatever the case may be. We deal with topics on social media. That's what we're doing. Kissing yeah, ass is not hey, something. You know how, kissing, hey, dog, kissing, you know go, man. Listen, at the end of the day, let me tell you something. I'm not too apologetic. If I'm wrong, I apologize because that's, that, that's just the type of person that I was raised to be. But when I sit back and I see and I and I and I analyze and I watch whatever the case may be, like I said, homeboy that you put on the screen, I never seen him a day in my life. I don't know what it is about dudes on on YouTube. They feel like I don't watch nobody. I rarely watch anybody. If I do look at somebody, I look at people that deal with topics that's that that's that's that that I like. All these other YouTubers you putting up there, like the other dude that you put up, I don't know him. 
Don't personally give a fuck about him. I don't give a fuck about the egotistical shit about him feeling like, oh, I'm from Chicago and New York is this. That sounds like some real plantation nigga shit. All he did was divide black people from one state to the next one. That's all he did. So what was the fucking point of him, him even getting up here? Because New York niggas, this New York niggas that, like I said, I'm not really too apologetic. I don't like apologizing. I did it because I was wrong. But for me to sit up here and let niggas tag team me and all the rest of that, I'm not with that shit. I'm not even going to talk too much. Listen, listen. listen, my whole whole thing is like this, right? My whole thing is like this. It's either we going to move forward in peace or we just going to say fuck each other. That's the bottom line to that. But I'm not kissing nobody's ass. Can I respond? I, I think guys like you and guys from New York, I know a lot of guys from New York. You guys come with a smile and a hug in the club. And you be the ones that set up the do low twist. I mentioned the do low twist before. I was in the club before, and the same guys that be from New York, they'll send two or three guys at a guy and make them uncomfortable. And then they'll stop the situation and they'll get next to a guy and they'll be their worst enemy acting like they friend. And Let me you, tell you, sir. Hold on, so, I, I so didn't inter- say- hold on, I didn't interrupt ahead, you. Go ahead. you tell go everybody ahead. else something. Go ahead. I, every time I'm trying to make a point, you train like Dr. Boyce and the rest of them to interrupt. I we stop. Try. Go ahead. Make we, your point. Okay, let me make my point. Some of you New Yorkers and some of you people, period, just like hip hop uh, viral news. He put on a shirt, acted like he's my friend. I sat back in the reserve for a few days. I said nothing. Next thing you know, I'm public enemy number one on his platform. And so, my brother, a lot of people like you like to play that bouffale game. Y'all like to put niggas in the do low twist. Y'all like to play on niggas' minds. Say something about a nigga, make all the assertions, and that tough talk and everything you said, you didn't know nothing about. You a man that don't know. You a man that don't know talking about another man, and then you apologize, and then that's supposed to be it. It don't work like that. I'm a Geechee. Nigga, if you step on my toe, I might do something worse than step on your toe back. And you can't tell me what to do after you fuck up. And you bullshitting, in my opinion. I don't accept your apology. I think you wanted to use these algorithms, and I think you wanted to argue, and I think you wanted to apologize to make it seem like you're solid, but you're not. And you never should have spoken with me. And, and even that right there is not respectful. We, me and you talking, and I hear music. I, I, I really think that you did this as a ploy. To Actually, say, I thought the mic was off. Okay, but you really did this, in my opinion. The reason why, I'm going to tell you as a man, I do not accept your apology because I'm a man. And as a man, I don't feel, I don't think, before I talk, I know. I'm not going to talk about Ticket TV I'm not going to talk about Hassan Campbell. You can't find one motherfucking video of me talking about anybody that did not talk about me first. That's a man. You talking about a man you know absolutely nothing about. And in two videos, I can show you you're speaking matter of fact about a man you don't know. So, no, I can't accept an apology when your bullshit talking points came out of thin motherfucking air. And then all of a sudden, because you say sorry, I'm supposed okay. to say, oh, all right, okay, so check it. Cool. Check it, right? Tell me why you talked about me in the so, first So, time. check it. So, check it. Here's how we're going to do this. You just sat up there right now and basically shaded the whole New York. No, I said with you. With the, what you. What you did, what you did, no. What you did was stop bringing New right? York in. I what got a lot did, of New you, York friends. No, I, 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 what you just did I was. BK, I, I what can you, hold up, you, I can hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me listen. Listen. Let me finish. What you just did was. What you just. What you just did was. Said New York. What you hold up? What you just. What you you finished it. You. But you finished it. You said New York niggas is the type that. I said New York like you. And then you also like. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, hold Shout up. out to BK so, Supreme. So listen. Shout out to BK. So listen. It's real so listen. cats from New York that so I know, listen. and they don't so act listen. like you. So listen. Trust at the end of the, so You're not going to make day, that a New York thing, listen. baby. I know a you lot know, of real niggas from New York. What you put me up here for don't if you want to talk? Are you going to talk or you going to let me no, talk? No, I'm going to let you talk, but you're not going to Because you've been try, talking. Sir, you're not going to try 
to put a whole state on a I'm man. I'm not trying. Listen, I can. I'm listen, not trying. Listen, I can go call New York. New York, New York, York hold listen, you. New I York can go call you. New York niggas to my house right now. They know where I live. I got a couple homeboys from New York. They probably in the chats. So you're not going to make it about a whole state. I said niggas like you from New York. And there's All niggas right. like you in every state. Are you finished you or are you done? The whole state. Niggas like you. Are you. Listen, are you finished or are you done? I'm finished, but make it sure. Before you say New York, say niggas like me from New York. Make it specific. Niggas like me from New York. And then you can go. Let me explain something to you. Because you got me a little bit fucked up. When you see me trying to be a man, you don't have to accept my apology. As a matter of fact, being that you don't accept it, you don't have to. I'm going to stand on what I said. But I'm not going to kiss your ass because I don't give a fuck about you. I don't need you. You ain't never did a fucking thing for me or my community. If you do decide to do something for the community, do what you do. I ain't trying to stop you. I don't have to be your friend. I ain't trying to be a motherfucker's friend. The one thing you never answered was, did you take an oath? Are you a Mason? Hmm? Are you? Are you a Mason? Are you down with any fraternal order? You never answered none of that shit. But the truth of the matter is, I don't even give a fuck. I'm not going to make another video about you. Every time I, I don't, come to the I mic listen. to answer what you asked me, you keep talking. Do you, you want talk me to for hours. You talk for hours, but going to try to shut me the fuck up. No, you just said, was I a part of Mason? You Mace talk time? for hours, but try to shut me the fuck up. The reality uh, of it so is... So you just asked me a question or did you not? Are you going to let me talk? Matter of fact, answer the question. Are you down with any fraternal order? It doesn't even matter because I don't even fucking believe you. Because the reality of it is... This little spectacle that you're putting on tonight... When I apologize... You could have just said, I don't accept it and move the fuck on. Nigga, fuck you. I don't know who the fuck you think you is. You don't have to accept my, my apologies. Nigga, fuck you. Plain and simple. Fuck you. I'm not kissing your ass. Who the fuck you think you is? So it means you kiss my ass because I challenge the things that you say. I play back the things that you say. I give a reason why I don't accept your apology based on the grounds that manhood don't mean you're trying to be a man at 44. I'm not trying to be a man. I am a fucking man. And so that's why I rejected your apology because as a man, okay, you don't cool. speak. Okay, cool. Cool. So you don't accept it. So I don't apologize no more. And that's that. Nigga, I'm not kissing your ass. I don't and give I a never, fuck about you sir, like that. You've been, you've been speaking about ass a lot. I never asked you to kiss my ass, sir. I never disrespected you. So that's why I brought you on and I go, I, I went against. You thought just saying I'm sorry means something. If somebody slapped my wife and say sorry. Nigga, this is a spectacle oh, wait, wait. that you're doing right here. Ain't nobody fucking stupid. You bring it, you bring, you, you, you bring it, niggas. You interrupted every time. Some, you're a man of respect, it. but you interrupted me every time. Go ahead. Just say, let go you ahead. finish. You say, go ahead, Tommy Sotomayor. People can you see study you. study Tommy hard. I thought people, you studied me, but you really Tommy. People can see you. You say, let me finish. Let That's me finish. That's why Tommy mad at you, because you Tommy sort of my all the way. People say, you said, let me finish, let me finish. Right. And every time I'm trying to finish, you're talking. People can see that. You can bring fuck up other people. people's names. Fuck your audience. Fuck, fuck the people? Fuck your audience. I don't give a fuck about audience. them. Your people are here too. No, that's your one. Nigga, they can unsubscribe. Pick a side, bitch. Unsubscribe right now. I don't give a fuck. So if unsubscribe. Your people... There's two sides of the fence. We don't play the middle. When you play so the middle, you no get way. shot. Unsubscribe. I don't give a fuck. So it, it, all your subscribers got to agree They can unsubscribe. You. No, they don't have to. But okay. if they feel like they don't like what I have to say, they can go on your side because the reality of it is it's not, I don't it's give not a about fuck. a side. It's not about a side. It's about. Nigga, if you was going to be a man with morals and integrity, when a man make peace, you extend peace. You still that's extending your, war. That's your, Nigga, you that's still, your you're still extending war. And see, that's one thing about opinion. me, listen. I never extended about, war. That you know you are. Sense. You are. Because that when a man apologizes, when a man apologizes, it's either two things that's going to happen. We're going to knuckle up or we're going to walk away. What the fuck we doing? Sir, you don't want neither one of that. But I, what you, I'm saying is, put your money you where your mouth is at. I will fuck you up. I will fuck you up. And I'll fly to your property. 
When? Whenever you ready. Whenever you, you fucking fight? ready. Nigga, you, you have me fight? fucked up. If we, if, if we can't make peace, I don't want to argue. So what I'm going to tell you is, is to, hold up, hold up. You instead you of you playing, instead I know of you playing, can't you instead of, listen, play. instead of you playing this Tommy Sotomayor shit that you playing, right? Why you keep bringing up this man's name? Because you got his whole swag. I thought you were studying me, but you that nigga too. And my whole thing is, if I'm not I said, over you, listen, you over talking to me said, more like Tommy. If I said, let's make peace. Your people see you. Fuck the people. Wow. Fuck is you talking about? I don't worship them. Fuck them. And nigga, fuck you too. If we can't make peace and you still want to talk, then let's fight. What let's I'm set trying, that up. Fuck all what, the bullshit. What I'm trying because to Because you're ask, playing my okay, game. Okay, cool. And either we go, either, get, either on, you gonna accept, on, either you gonna accept the peace or you ain't. Fuck you. I'm not gonna accept the peace. I'll get all to right, the fight. All right, to eat a dick, then nigga. Let's fight. I'll get to the fight later. You don't gotta right. fight. Then fuck you don't all that bullshit. About, then you don't gotta then talk about bullshit. Then you don't gotta. Cause you trying to talk to a nigga like I'm some fucking chump. Can I talk now? Can I talk now? You saying all this? We'll get to the fight. I'll give you address. But what I'm saying is, you talking Nigga, you could pick a, me up from the airport. Can I say something, sir? You, 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 I know you want to say that I'm muting you and all that, but this is not how grown men talk. I, I apologize. Would, and you still beefing. What the fuck bro. is you talking about? I apologize. And instead of you saying, okay, I don't accept it, but we're so going to go our ways and go our ways. So nah, now, you want to go back and forth. Because your views is crazy right to, now, and I know hold on, hold on. I know your views is I'm, crazy. I'm going to I'm gonna have to mute you in a second if you're not going to let me talk. Good, I'm going to let you talk. Okay, thank you, sir. Appreciate you, New York brother. Let me talk. Your kind from New York. Let me talk on my show. You're talking over me and then saying I'm Tommy Sotomayor. That's a bitch move. You're doing everything that you say somebody else do. You say, let, let, me talk, let me talk, and then you over-talking me. That's bitch shit. Now I want to beat your let's ass. Talk, let's fight now. So let's fight, fight then. We can't fight on let's the fight internet. Then. Like, let's fight then. Let's fight then. Let me mute this. This nigga say let's fight now. That should show y'all this nigga talk. I will beat the brake shoes off your bitch ass. But anyway, um, the bottom line is this: I said a reason why I don't respect what you're saying, and right now you're drunk, so you're tough. And when you sober up, you're not gonna feel that way. That pussy gonna come out again. But at the end of the day. You talked about a man that never talked about you. And then you're going to dictate to a man what manhood is. And what I told you, bitch boy, before you got to the apology, you didn't do man shit. Because what a man do is he don't think and he don't speak on shit. He don't know what the fuck he talking about. Your bitch ass said a lot of shit you don't know what you talking about. You said I ain't been through nothing. My only struggle is this. My daddy did life. I went to a homeless shelter. Motherfucker, I went through a free lunch line. Motherfucker, I earned the right to get to the NBA. Nobody gave me that, you bitch ass nigga. So the way you tell a story is that you want to stand on people's shoulders. And if you want to fight, bitch boy, I'll pay for your flight. 625 P.O. Box, 625 Palmetto Drive, and I'll make an example out of your bitch ass on YouTube. Don't bring no gun, don't bring no knife, and I'll break you, boy. I'll break you for real. Bitch-ass niggas like you that talk to a nigga like me, when you meet me face-to-face, -face, I will break you easy, boy. I promise you, I will pay for your flight tomorrow. Tell me where you want your flight at, and it'll come, I'll pick you up, and I won't slap you until we get to 625 Palmetto <laughs> Drive. I will pick you up tomorrow. Tell me you want to go to the airport, and we'll see what you talking about? I know you air pack, bitch. And I know I'll bring the bitch up out you. I'll pay for your flight tonight. Send me your information and I'll send you to 625 Palmetto Drive and I'll beat the bitch up out you, boy. Reach out to me. No, don't do no my, more talking. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll so give you, you my email address. Exactly. Listen, Put support, it, send it, send it. Send it in my DM on Instagram. I'm going to tell it right I'm now. I'm not going to remember no, no, no. it. Put it in my DM. No, no, I'm put, put it in my DM. Chat. You bitch ass nigga. All right, we'll put I'm it in the chat. For you tonight, Just stop nigga. talking. The fuck you talking about? Nigga, nigga? stop talking then. What stop you mean? Talking. Stop Man, talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. I'll tell you what. Sarnetta called my phone. I'm going to text Sarnetta and I'll get your information from Sarnetta. You get it from me. I flew you out, bitch. Cause you already, you already been a agent. Bitch we don't, we, we don't. I'll fly you out and slap. Oh, I've been a bitch my whole life. Like a hoe. 
Okay. Don't bring no knife. Do don't that. bring no gun. You, you do said that. you wanted to fight, right? You do that. You do that. Man, come on, man. You, you do that. I will like slam that. your tall, linky ass on your fucking neck. I will okay. slam your tall, linky ass on your neck. I All sure right, enough, that, I will fuck you up. That, I will that. fuck you up. Okay. I will you fuck see. you up. Okay. You, you ain't been through tomorrow, the school right? of hard. You ain't been, you you ain't been through the school of Nigga, it don't work like that. You gonna take a flight tomorrow? But you know what? But you know what? I'll make an exception for you. Let's get Let's get it. You ain't making it. No. You the one put it out there. You don't even know what you're saying. You know what words mean? I know you what I'm saying. You ain't making an exception. You said I you said I will fuck head. you up. That's what you said. And I meant it. I will you, fuck you up. You better be drunk. Nigga, you ain't tough. I ain't trying to be I tough. I will fuck you up. Cool. You soft. I everybody know. in the everybody in the NBA fucked you up. Now you want to be tough with a street nigga? You uh -huh. bitch ass nigga. The fuck okay. out of here. But the you coming you tomorrow, right? To. You coming tomorrow? Not tomorrow. When you coming? Don't make it seem like I'm a broke bum ass nigga. I could just pick up and go tomorrow. We could go. When you coming? Within this week. I would love to invite you here. We could do it this week. I would love to. You motherfucking right? When? You paying for my hotel? Yeah. No, you ain't gonna need no hotel. You are gonna need a hospital. Nah, I ain't gonna need no hospital. You gonna jump need a up hospital. and down on your ass like I'm a trampoline. I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay. I'm gonna fuck you up. All right. And you I don't even want to fuck you. Know, you know what's sad? Internet. You know what's sad? You know what's sad? All right. You know what you know what's sad? Because I really wouldn't even want to fuck you up on your property. You got a family. I'm not gonna fuck you up on my property. I'm gonna beat your ass in front of the post office and drag your ass to the mailbox like I was gonna do Matt Bond. Oh, that okay. post office, that's a PO and you box. Think, and you metal. think it's gonna be that simple? You really think it's gonna be that simple? I nigga, told I'll make you, your I told you I'm a man. I will no, make no, no. Your, nigga, I, I will told make you your I'm a man. Soul. I don't think. Nigga, I know. I will make your fucking soul levitate. You ain't never met a looking nigga like me, you bitch ass nigga. See, the difference between me and you is I smell pussy all on you. When you sit up there and you talk about a nigga going outside, I just showed you I was outside in a fucking hood with my jewelry on. Only what a bitch is? nigga, only a bitch nigga would tell a nigga not to go outside with his jewelry on, you bitch nigga. What I'm outside every day. Every day with my jewelry on, you bitch nigga. What day you coming here, though? You bitch ass nigga. What day you coming here, though? I see through your punk ass. And tell Sarah to suck a fucking dick with his ugly ass wife. What mouth. day you what day tell you Tell Sarah I said use his ugly ass wife to suck my dick with her bald headed ass. Tell him I hope he can get over the fucking age here because everybody know that he, he burnt his fucking wife. I don't even want to talk about you no more. Tell Sarah Meta because it seemed like every time you turn around, see, that's the real agent. That's the nigga I should be beefing with. Because everybody that I have a problem with, he reach out to with his dying ass. This nigga that made a million dollars off of YouTube. See, at 18 when you years here, old, though? hold up, hold up. We'll get to your bitch ass. At 18 years old, you I'm brought your mother. Now. Hold up. At 18 years old, you brought your mother. Hey, you see this but bitch ass? Hold up. Let me finish. Let me finish. Hey, 18 you, years, you, guys, listen, up. <laughs> hold up, hold up. But at 18 years old, you brought your mother a house. But that old senior citizen, 60 year old nigga, still got his dusty ass, funky ass wife living in Harlem. With a bald headed ass, looking like Buster Rhymes. Why are you talking about nigga, your fucking wife, man? Hey, Jimmy, because he a disrespectful nigga, nigga, man. Because he a disrespectful nigga, and I'm a disrespectful Yo, nigga too. Well, he not, yeah, listen, man. he not here to defend himself. Go ahead, bro. You shouldn't Yo, have brought that faggot ass nigga up. He should have been talking York, about. This is a New York brother right here. What's up, bro? Yeah, no, definitely uh, from New York. Who's New from New York? York? No, right I mean, I'm from New York, from Queens. I, I don't want to talk. About this guy, I got this opportunity. I definitely want to speak about the things you were on, Kwame. Uh, they had it going on some real things at a point, but no, nah, I definitely want to know. Like, I got this opportunity. I want to let you know we do appreciate you, Kwame, and everything you're doing, everything you're speaking on. I think, like, when you get you know sidetracked with the timey arguments, and then you got this brother right here. He obviously wants the clout. He wants to be your friend now. Now you say you don't want to be a friend. Now nah, he really went off. You know, he's who the fuck said I wanted through, to be his friend? He, he's who the fuck shit. said that I wanted to be his friend? He's been through we, who said I wanted to be his friend? Obvious, he's been through stuff we never been. Who said that I wanted to be his friend? I apologize to him as a man. I did not say I wanted to be his friend. He can't he can't talk at the same time. How you gonna ask him to keep talking? Hey, don't put words in my mouth. Can you mute him? Because like I said, I'm really not here. You ain't gonna have to mute me. I'm gonna shut up. Brother, I'm really not here. I'm really not here to speak to you. Like I said, you've been. You've been through something none of us been through. You know what I mean? You was in a relationship with your mentor, and we, we can't relate to that type of stuff, brother. So can you just stand by for one second? What I was oh, you just trying to like, be disrespectful. No, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to talk real. Now you're trying to be disrespectful. We, I was in a relationship. You you represent I was in a relationship. I spit that in your mouth. You fuck me a high yellow bitch. Through. 
you not come on now. You're not really representing what you've been through and what really got you acting all emotional like this. We know what you're dealing with. It's not the streets and the prisons. It's what you've been through. So let's leave that alone. But let's talk about some real stuff, Kwame, real quick. Can you mute the brother? I um, like I said, I um, you appeared out of nowhere, Kwame, with the hookah responding to these brothers. You know, of course, I know you from uh playing basketball. I'm from down there in Decatur. Uh, but no, um, what I want to talk to you about really is what you talking about you really got a message for the code and the, the trades and i'm i want to speak to the audience and just tell everybody you know to get into not only you but to get into the angela staten kings the rizza islams the dr umars the dane calloways um i know i'm missing the real your, your brother the real is I, I god i want him from you and he's really you go back to his old videos but i think that you can take something from everybody like like i said you got of course you got these youtube people that's you know they 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 just trying to do de de derail the course, but we got some real, real issues going on in our community that we need to address. And like I said, I know, like he said, and you said, and everybody know the controversy definitely going to bring them to you, Kwame, but you got this voice. And like I was speaking to the audience, what I want to let them know is with Kwame having this voice, we can't rely on him to also go out there and do the, the drives and the coding schools and this. He's speaking to the people. He's motivating so many, and you motivating us, brother, to do the work. And we're gonna step out here and do the work. But like the people that yes, I sir. mentioned, I watch these people, Rizza, like I said, Dr. Uma, I know everybody they got flaws. Soon as you hear somebody, they're ready to throw something at them. They're coming for you, Kwame. Your 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 scandal's oh, man. gonna come they out. Come from we behind the scenes like a motherfucker. The scandal's gonna come out, but, but but what I'm saying is as, as the audience, you know, we, we can't judge these people. They're not they're human, like Kwame's human, Dr. Umar's human, Rizza, like I said, Dane. We have to look at these people and take what we can, critically yeah. thinking about what our issues that we have before us today. I'm, I'm, I'm an older brother. Like I said, so I'm not with the plan around 42 years old. You know, I, mean, I came out of high school in 96. I've been around the world in the Navy. So I, I like, but when I look at my people, I hurt. And I got six kids, three baby moms. I can relate to the baby mama drama. I can relate to everything we got going on. Mm -hmm. And these distractions that we have going on. It's throwing us off, and I, and I think but, that. Hey, but brother, but let me say, let me, say, let me say this to you, not to cut you off. Don't don't look at guys like Hassan as distractions. Look at him as a guy that we need to see. What I did was, I said this was quicksand. Quicksand let people come to you, and let people fight against self. I didn't say nothing about this brother, and so all I do was let people see that 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 that. It's no color. It's this shit is about money. Yo, for sure. America for sure. is about money. This man is talking about me because of money. Let me ask you a question. Dude. All these guys are talking why about am I still me listen? Why am I still sitting on, on your platform? One more second. One more second. Yeah, let's get him up. Of these, see, he tried to cut me off as soon as I'm making a point. He's still sitting on the platform. I know. Most of these guys, all these guys talk about me because of money. America is built and based on money. If, the, if we get black folks to get in trades and getting coding, that's why they sending guys like him at me. They won't be able to dig in their pockets. Guys will be individuals. I have friends that make $180,000, $160,000 a year driving a the truck. There's nobody controlling them. There's nobody in their pockets. And see, when, I, when I'm saying that, he don't like that because the garbage that he speak, oh, the industry and this and that, he need people dysfunctional. He's not a part of solving the problem. He's the medicine. He's big pharma. He just wants to give you the medicine to keep getting him paid. I didn't ask people for super chats, which he always talk about. When people sent me super chats, I said, oh, shit, because I've been doing this. You can link me to every state, every city I've been in uh, throughout the league or whatever. I've impacted every city. You see me handing out turkeys, shoes, everything that I'm talking about. Throughout the whole 12 years, he just running his fucking mouth. So when yeah, I got I the donations, I said, you know what? Nobody asked me to do it. The first thing I said was, bam, I'm going to set up a shoe, drive, a shoe drive with some of these donations. And then I said, I'm going to use some of this shit for gas. <laughs> so I was honest the whole motherfucking time. He's sitting here saying I'm this and this and that. You can look at the timeline when I came to the Internet. I haven't said a motherfucking thing about nobody that didn't say a, nothing about me. And I allege that these people are to go along, get along game. For sure. So why am I so attacked? For sure. 
Well, well, like I said, uh, definitely it's about money. You know, you 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 know what it is. Uh, like I said, I know the controversy, and, it, and you need it. When you mentioned that you need it, you definitely need it to keep the viewers, because some of us are caught in that, you know, that whole that that conflict mindset where we need to watch things. But what I did want to say is, like I said, y'all do have this platform, and y'all code in, and like I said, the what all of y'all are saying, like I said, I just, you know, I'm afraid that all these people go and look at these people and there's so many others and take what you can from them. But I just think that yep. as a people, we need radical changes. And I mean, like radical, like coding is going to get us there in years and things like that. But I think we have to really make moves. And I mean, like, like the prison system, I hear mm -hmm. us talk about this prison system and how we can, um, you know, what's going on. And we all know the prison, the pipeline. I said that every 18 year old should go to prison. Right. I, I mean, like I said, I, I'm not like, like I said, I, I heard, like, I know, I know what he was saying. And like, um, you know what I mean? Like the stripes that he grew up around and how he was trying to differentiate, you know, what you've been through. And, you know, that's just clown shit. But what I'm saying is, I think that like, when I say radical changes, I mean, things that we have to think about, like, I think black on black crime should be a hate crime. I think that while we complaining about this Asian hate bill that they just got, I think that what we should fight for is that when you hurt another brother, it's the hate crime, something radical like that. This prison system that got us jammed up. I think um, we all need to blow trial. Like if everybody, white, black, blue, green, from speeding ticket to murder, to petty theft, if we all blow trial in three months, We'll topple that system in a year. We'll really topple that system. I don't think that even I said I watch y'all all, and I, and I see that y'all y'all all you know with Angela Stan I speak about the abortions and just you know the conservative values that we do have that we were raised. My family's from the Caribbean, so you know we um we we come with a real Car Caribbean and you know just like the Southern values and you know we look at the and I'm not trying to knock you know the homosexuality the 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 abortions, we look at these things that's not of us, but that's pushed onto us. And it's it's very hard because they cross this divide, like, um, you know, the, the Democrats on the plantation. And then if not, you want to get with the Trump. And I know it's not a divide because neither one Trump, we, we both, we all know that Trump or Biden is for us. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I think that we have to pick our poison. And I think that that's what we're arguing about right now. A lot of people think that our poison with Biden and the Democrats was better than what they were going, what, what, what Trump was going to do. And Angela makes a good point where the Republicans are not welcoming to the black community and they're not really getting their point across and letting them understand that this is this is us and this system that's been keeping us so far behind with the um, you know these these, these crime bills and the crack and the AIDS and the, just everything that they've been throwing at us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Is it, it, coming from this side that we've been connected to for so long. And then, like I said, when you look at the other side, they're not really for us either. You know what I mean? And I think that when you try to throw, when you try to expose what we've been linked to, you know I mean, I'm not, you know, trying to be political and you say, well, this is the better thing. You're going to lose a lot of people because that's not the better thing. Like mm -hmm. if we go independent and like we, we just cry, like I just named a couple of things, but like radical moves, like we could crash these systems. It's like if you get a hundred million dollars for playing around on TV a couple rounds and you don't send $20 million to trick tricking them out there. That's a problem. If you go on a million dollar cruise like LL Samuel and Matt Johnson, that's a problem. We shouldn't allow that. The, the, the BLM woman that everybody is screaming about, that's all we doing is screaming. She should give that money back. I mean, we have to get radical. We have, Speakers, y'all are speaking, but we have soldiers. No, she out she here. protected. You can never no, get that money she, back because the same. I mean, listen, the same white people that she was uh, shouting against, those would be the same white people that kick you in the ass. I mean, I mean, but what I'm saying is, I mean, like we've been we. we I'm not saying we could take her court and sue her, but she should be uncomfortable. Her, she, she. I saw her her interview. I bought my family houses, like. Her family shouldn't be comfortable in these houses. They should be ready to sell these houses. They'll be ready to sell these houses and give them back. We have to move radical. Like the, the, the trades the, the in school, we had trades out there in, in, in Georgia, uh, the OEC program. You leave, you go work on small motors, the, the changing tires, spraying cars and paint, the whole yeah. nine. You know what? What I'm saying is that's going to work for the next generation. But I think our generation, we have to realize that what we passed on to these kids of 
this mindset of anything to do for money and you know just not really having them connected to something like you you say um we, we have to we have to correct that like right now and if not mm -hmm. for them for their children and i'm not talking like like i said uh voting or dying like you said or or, or you know i'm talking about for real it's time to get for real like 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 for like i said on our own people you you shouldn't have a billionaire in in, in these people and, and they're pe and we, we, well, 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 people well, well, we don't want we don't we don't want to get into telling people what to do with their money though like i i, mean, I, I ain't, I I ain't mean, a proponent of that like I, we can have our opinion about it but at the end of the day if somebody work it's all about choices at the same, if, if, no, if somebody hold on, if, if somebody say, working and somebody sitting on their ass if you don't work you don't eat so we got it. We can't push this message that somebody who set the uh, table and, and made it for their family. I don't give a damn. If they made a hundred dollars or a hundred billion dollars. If they did the work, they choose to eat and they choose to give it how they want to give it. But we, we, we can't have that mindset because then that goes into tribalism and that go into something that's dangerous. I can't play basketball like LeBron James. So, I shouldn't get the money that LeBron James got because I can't do what LeBron James do. So then I can't tell him, hold on, I can't tell him what to do with his money after that. So we, 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 we can't do that now. I, 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 totally agree. I totally agree with what you just said because that takes me back to the Rachel Nichols shit when she was talking that shit about Floyd Mayweather yeah. and and, uh, and she was bringing up this another black man cases and shit. Yeah. And she, she telling him, she counting his pockets for his fight and asking him, Telling him what he need to do with his money, but mm -hmm. meanwhile, this this broad been caught on tape talking shit about black women, and nobody asked her, "Well, what you gonna do with your money?" Right. You know what I'm saying? What groups you, you you laughing at? All these groups that you supposed to be out here tweeting about Me Too and Black Lives, and they catch you on a hot mic and you run around here laughing about that shit, but nobody's asking her, "Well, what you what, what you gonna do with your money?" To put towards those groups she was laughing at. They, they don't ask white people that. It's only us <laughs> black people. No, I, I wasn't. I wasn't saying. I wasn't just saying white. And I, like I no, said, no, I no, no, not you. Color. But we just saying no, as I a think, whole that they don't no, add. I think, I think we don't Rachel hold white people saying. accountable for the things that they say. We always attacking black people. I'm just saying as a whole, we don't hold white people accountable that make white white people make the most money off of us. They're in distribution off of black music they control the black everything and so we always go with the black person that's in place that they put in place which i talk about them but i always try to find out who they white zaddy is carcino self-talk ticket all of us we've been finding out who's controlling these negroes because you can't just get with the negroes you got to get with who's giving them the money like this juvenile rap song who paid for that yeah, that's 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 a whole nother you know. Story. Take it. Who paid for that? We, we now, don't I don't know, know but I know who paid for Rachel Nichols. I know who right. paid for her ass. I, hey, they brother, fired Paul, they, fired, bro. they 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 fired ahead, Paul Pierce. They fired Paul Pierce, and Paul Pierce was a brother of some of these dudes in the NBA. Won championships with these dudes. These dudes went up and stood behind Rachel Nichols, but couldn't stand up for Paul Pierce when they fired his ass off one violation of something he did in his own home, mm -hmm. and it wasn't even nothing to where. You had naked woman on that on that picture, yeah, but they absolutely. fired him. They fired him without question. With this shit with Rachel, Rachel Nichols, they swept this shit under the rug for a year, suspended the girl two weeks without pay. They had nerve to go get a tape to 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 to, to Maria Taylor and show her what type of shit this girl was talking about her behind her back, and they punished her, swept this shit under the rug for a whole year. Let her come out and get his fake ass twenty second apology. Put two black men. Beside her, the same black men that she been using that platform for to bring up these niggas' cases over and over and over again that nobody asked her about, but she won't bring up War Machine case. She won't bring up all these other alleged charges against Roethlisberger and all these other dudes. But she yep. only she got a she got a fetish with bringing up black men's cases, and all these dudes will still stand around her, take up for her. You understand what I'm saying? And ESPN mm -hmm. will still give her a check, still yep. put her on a show. Won't suspend her, and the thing they said we're gonna do is take her off the NBA finals. No, that's not enough. And right. then got the nerve to cut their offer that they was gonna give Maria Taylor and cut that offer from five million to three million just to kick her ass out the door, too. And ain't nobody gonna say nothing. 
And so let, me ask, time, let me ask you this. Go ahead. Why do you think those, you know how much money some of these guys have made throughout the league. Why can one white woman in one job with all this money, like Paul Pierce said, nigga, I'm straight, fuck it, well, whatever. Why the rest of these guys have to say the same thing and why do they have to come to so much defense of one white woman? Oh, cause he didn't come much. He, he do come much. Everyone would say, cause she thick ticket. Like, huh? Yeah, man. That, that what they say. That what these niggas told me. And I'm gonna tell you something, dog. Now, have you noticed that they got all this beautiful black woman talent hidden? Now, I, I want you to think about this. I'm talking about that's knowledgeable on the sport, that know the sport, and that's beautiful. And they've hidden these women behind the scenes and made them irrelevant and propped yeah. up chicks like Rachel Nichols and got her on national TV. Now, Derrick Rose don't overcame full knee surgery. Woo! The man, he went to the court, and they said he wasn't liable. He wasn't liable for that shit he was, that they was trying to put up against him. But then this chick got enough nerve on her show during that, when the whole NBA was praising this dude for coming back, overcoming that shit, she going to bring up his fucking charges and talk about, well, what about that? Even though she know good and fucking well that this man had been found not liable for that shit. Yep. It's the same woman. You understand what I'm saying? That try to pit a beef between two black men, a white woman that feel brave enough to keep a beef going between you and Matt Barnes that she had nothing to do with. And they don't even promote that type of TMZ shit over there on ESPN. But not only did she do that shit on her show, she went and put the shit on Twitter too. And they made her ass ran. They, 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 all the people that's in the chat room ran her ass on, on Twitter and made her take that shit down. Mm -hmm. And now, you see what I'm saying? They got her back on TV. But it's going to be hard for her to navigate through this shit because them dudes that's sitting up there with her, y'all dudes got to think, man. Y'all dudes was so quick to come out and stand up there with her and talk about what well, I ain't want to lose no food out my family's mouth. But at the same time, she taking food out. She trying to take food out these Negroes' mouths that playing the yeah. league with y'all when she go and bring up these niggas' cases and she ain't talk about no other race case. She only talk about cases of black men. And then I'm going to tell y'all something else. She had the nerve to do that shit to Floyd Mayweather. Then I'm going to tell you how trifling she is. She went and brought up that Floyd Mayweather shit and brought up his cases and shit when she didn't talk about none of these other white boys that had cases. War Machine beat the hell out that girl, Christy Mack. And I'm talking about damn near beat her to death. And she yep. didn't talk about that shit. But she had enough nerve after she went and talked that shit to complain when he stripped her press credentials and didn't let her come to his fight. So yep. she sat up there and tried to degrade the nigga, then still wanted to go to his fight. What type of shit is that, man? And sure. ain't nobody saying nothing about this shit, bro. So why can't, we, why can't we get like uh, guys like Hassan to see the truth? And somebody said, bring Hassan back. He left. And I'm not going to let him disrespect. Like, to me, he he's a coward. He started talking over everybody so that he can get kicked out because I'm not going to let you just talk. When it was your turn, like, he kept saying, let me finish, let me finish. And every time he said that, we let him talk, right? When you started talking, he want to talk over you. He want to talk over me. Hassan, you can come back, but you can't just talk over people. But, hey, but let's not forget about the resident pit bull, too. The nigga that's always screaming about, oh, he want chances for this one, want chances. Stephen A. Smith, why is he mm -hmm. quiet on this shit? Why is he mm -hmm. quiet about a white woman trying to take food out of out a black woman's mouths over on ESPN? He you know better. Be the head dude. Why shit, is he quiet me? about that? He better be. You know why he quiet. He a company but, man. He got he got in trouble last time when he told the truth. You see what I'm saying? And yeah, she and she got look. And the girl that told on him, Michelle Beadle, the one who violated company policy, went on national TV talking shit about Stephen A. and demanded his job. They didn't do shit to her. They end up su suspending him. Yep. They suspended this stupid ass nigga. And put lipstick, a thong, and a skirt on this nigga and made him go on TV and apologize to all those women when he didn't say nothing wrong. The only thing he said was, is a man shouldn't be putting his hands on a woman and a woman shouldn't be provoking a man to put her put his hands on her. There was nothing wrong with what he said. They don't want you to say that nowadays. Come on, man. Because when I was in school, they say men should not, boys should not hit girls, but they also said girls should not hit boys. But now we got it to where we just say boys should not hit girls. But now the girl is whooping the boy's ass. And if the boys react, then it's, oh, shit, he a boy. And we got, that's why I said, I only watch behavior. And I think you starting to see, they only talk about black athletes. Uh, men are able to be disrespected on every single level. 
we are the we damn near are the most unprotected besides the children children are number one the most unprotected that's why i don't talk about adults i always talk about the children these children are being every other goddamn day i get an alert on my phone ah, a child been taken so where are these households that that that's being raised up to where these kids are protected where's the education where these children are educated none of this is happening but we claim we love the children and a son i mean I, I hope he come back but he just he's talking all this talk talking negative about a guy that's been talking for children i don't get it and and listen dog it's a lot of tricks that go on, on this youtube shit too it's people that have come make fake channels act like they you go to another nigga channel talking shit mm -hmm. acting like it's you trying mm -hmm. to start controversy and shit like that you understand niggas yeah. trying to niggas trying to put batteries in your back and shit like that to keep bullshit and keep controversy going and shit i ain't with that shit bro right and that's the reason why i told you i i really did not like that shit rachel nichols did this is i want y'all to think about this a white woman trying to incite violence between two black men and i don't mm -hmm. like that shit if you yeah. look at that shit bro that shit ain't cool man yeah, that was I crazy. Always, I always why, did Matt, why did Matt participate in that? If she would have asked me some shit about if, if if me and another dude had beef, if she would have asked me that on that show, I'd say, look here, that's between me and him. I handle that off the scene. Boom, boom, boom. He literally let them make ratings off of that shit. But then everybody else get mad at me when they making white folks money every time they bring my name up. And that's what they don't understand. You you know firsthand. When you sign a contract, don't you sign your likeness over to that team? Yeah, I don't, but I don't even, I don't understand what you did to get backlash from all the, the people that was making videos that was coming down. I'm just sitting there thinking like, what did this guy do? He was minding his own business. He wasn't saying nothing to none of these people. He was making his own videos, talking about his stuff the same way. I mean, you could, those videos are still up on your Facebook, I think. You can still yeah. go look at his Facebook from way back when and see he was still talking the same way, the same message, the same stuff. So I don't understand now that you responded to people that kept fucking with you that everybody now trying to say, oh, this nigga cloud chasing, this nigga cool, he this, he that. I don't understand it. And then you told niggas that they could come have a conversation. See what I'm saying? But they still it's a fucked up game, man. I know what's going on, bro, with this shit, man. Now why I told you. I always respect you from the from the beginning when I was watching your videos. And then when that shit went down, when you finally said something, I knew that shit was going to blow up. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it was going to, because I said, man, because you hadn't said nothing the whole time. Mm -hmm. So when you said something, and I already knew where you was at here mentally and some of the things you was talking about, I said, oh, he going he gonna to be too much for, for a lot of this shit that's going on. Yeah. And so that's why you had a dude that always wanted to talk shit back. I hope you know this. Stephen A. Smith, he always wanted to go back at KD and them dudes. Always wanted to go back at Kyrie and them dudes. But when you hit him, he said, oh, oh hold on, hold on. He, he, he ain't really, he ain't initially want to come back. Because he 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 saw something that you was going to put on his ass different than what them other dudes could, could do. And, and trust me, them dudes that's in the league, it's times they want to do shit, but a nigga ain't going to jeopardize his shit while he playing to fuck with this nigga, to fuck with this media nigga. Because it's a lot of times, you know how I go, man, when the media put out bullshit and you just want to go upside a nigga head, but you just leave it alone because you're like, man, it's a little media nigga, fuck it. But then when he keep fucking with you after you retire and shit like that, bro, I don't understand how niggas didn't, don't see that. I don't understand how y'all don't see that people all over social media, all over the world, try to pour gasoline and batteries in people back. And then when the shit fly, everybody hiding their hands like they ain't had nothing to do with this shit. No, motherfucker. You niggas got blood all over y'all hands too. That's why I was so fucked up, bro. When all these people trying to come, trying trying to dish you and talk shit. I'm like, bro, man, y'all niggas ain't even y'all niggas ain't even know that you was talking about half the shit you were talking about on Facebook before you came on YouTube. A lot of these niggas, think, I tried to tell them. These niggas think you just popped up talking shit and looking for money out of nowhere, nigga. He been doing this shit. He was doing videos before then for, for the free. <laughs> Y'all, and, and this is this is this is part I want to say too, bro. This is the problem I got. These motherfuckers is attracted to negativity, bro. Yep. And that's the reason why this shit blew up. When you was talking about positive shit, making change, things you could do in the community, 
when you was talking about the reading level of these boys and all that shit, motherfuckers didn't want to listen at first because they didn't care about that message, bro. Nope. When you put out, when you just coming on this platform and you just putting out some positive shit, majority of niggas ain't going to give a fuck. These people come for the bullshit and the foolishness, man. Yeah. And that's why you caught everybody's voice. But then at that time, that was a gift too because now yep. you got the ear of a lot of people that's yep. been feeling and you the same what I was going to do. You know right. what I was going to do. I was smiggling it in there. Fact. So now you got the ear of a lot of people that believe, that understand and that uh, agree with a lot of the things you've been saying. They just didn't either have a voice or they didn't have a platform to say it. Yep. And so now, I, that's why I didn't understand. Nigga let y'all use his videos, let you come in and chop it up, shout niggas out, all this shit, bro. I don't understand how niggas come around this I come in peace. I come come in on, peace. bro. Come on, man. But then they got a problem But after 20 years of niggas just fucking with you, fucking with you, talking shit, that you say something back for two months out of 20 fucking years, these niggas got a problem. I never understood it, bro. I can't even get, I can't even get four months. I can't even get six months. These motherfuckers had 20 years to fuck with me. I can't even get four months. It's jealousy, though, dog. It's jealousy, though, man. Motherfuckers is jealous because, you know, you you getting a lot of traffic. A lot of people listen to you. A lot of people believe in your message and what you're saying, man. And you know what I'm saying, man? It's just a blessing and a breath of fresh air to hear somebody that, you know, because, I, like I said, I listened to you before all this shit, and it, yep. you were saying the same thing. It wasn't mm-hmm. like it switched up. You understand what I'm saying? So yep. I always I, – that's why I always – Respected that shit, bro. And I ain't never let nobody come on my platform and just talk shit. I don't know if you've been listening before this shit, but when niggas yeah. are trying to come on and talk shit, nigga, we have some real arguments over there because I didn't like that shit. Motherfuckers was coming in trying to prejudge you, and that's yeah. how a lot of shit gets started. When you coming in late and you really don't know how everything started, then that's mm-hmm. when bullshit started. That's how all these people out here making it. And some of these dudes don't even dislike you. They just making videos just to get traffic, bro, and mm-hmm. just talking shit just to get traffic. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah. So some of these dudes, they don't even have no real beef with you. They seen you in real life, they'll, they'll dab you and ask you for an autograph or some shit, man. That's just facts, bro. That's just facts, man. You know what I'm saying, man? It, it, that, it's just how they, that's the Hey, that's hey, you, that's always, hey you always been real, but hey, look here. Because goddamn, every, everywhere I go now, I guess I get some little hard looks, but most times it's love. Most times the truckers, the, the electricians work. Matter of fact, I told this dude this today. Let me show you how real this is. I was at a gas station today. Hold on. Where this damn shit at? Let me zip my pocket now. I told this dude I was going to put his card on YouTube. Let me find it. Shit. And see this real shit, y'all. This man out here promoting people stuff for free. He ain't out here saying, hey, man, pay me this, pay me that. He's saying, look, you send me your shit and I'm going to put it out there. I'm going I'm to I'm show you love. I've uh, never seen somebody take from the bitch ass niggas and get to the real niggas and motherfuckers complain. I ain't did nothing wrong to nobody. I met this dude at the gas station today. He said, this is me. This is my business. It's a black guy. It's a black man. This is a black guy I met at, I met at the gas station today. I said, brother, give me that card. I'll put it on my, I'll put it on my platform for you to do this. And that's why I asked Brother Hassan, I said, bro, have you done something like this? He said, yeah, I help this, I do that. Like, no, I see these big platforms, and these guys get big platforms, and then they talk down on people that don't have big platforms. Me, I've been saying, why talk down on these guys? Because some of these guys on the with the smaller platforms, they say the realest shit. They just don't have people. It it seemed like the people that's bigger than them take their talking points and say it on their platform, and they, they just want to shine. My thing is, no. Bring this brother up, talk about his platform, and then y'all can kind of converse and y'all can share ideals. Like, why Why you got to be based in hate? That hate going to run out at some point. Because that, that's how a lot of these motherfuckers is built, man. Like, I, like me personally, man, I, I, where I was trying to do my channel, bro, I was trying to help build up brothers, let brothers come on. And this is going to happen, too. You let brothers come on and cook with you. You let them try to get their name up, help them build their channels up. And then maybe they disagree with one or two things that you say. Right. And then without even having a manly conversation with you, they'll go start sneak dissing you in your video and their videos, talking shit about you behind their back. Niggas just ain't solid. You understand? And then go whole, just go all the way away and act like they never knew you, never fuck with you, yeah. never came to your platform, never needed your help. 
that's how these people are, man. So that, that's dumb. Mean, that's dumb. Right. Right. You, you, I don't want you to agree with everything I say. That would make you me. You're not me. You're going to agree with some of the shit I say. I don't agree with some of the stuff you say. But guess what? You a man. And if it's a woman, you have a right to your opinion. And so I'm never going to say, hey, ticket, man, you said such and such. So fuck you. I don't want to watch your page no more. No, I, I don't eat all of a ribeye steak. I chew the meat. I spit out the fat and leave the bone. I take the good parts of what you're saying and I build upon that. But we've been trained and indoctrinated to find that disagreement. And I'm telling you, we hold on to that. Ticket said this. I don't. You can do that with everybody. There's not one person in America that you're going to agree with everything they say. So it's Thanks, a crazy bro. argument. That's a non-starter. Thanks. Like, for example, I'm going to tell you all the truth. I don't agree with uh, some of the stuff that Kwame said about Candace. Candace uh, what's her name? Candace Owens. Candace Owens, but you ain't right. heard me come on here and say, "Oh, fuck that nigga, he a bitch, nigga." Nah, nigga, I don't carry myself like that. I, and I don't agree with like everything she say, and that's the thing. People try to attach you to people, not to cut you off. I don't agree with everything she say. The, what I do agree with is that she's not violent, and she's willing to have a conversation with anyone. That's what we have to bring back to America. I'm not asking everybody to agree with each other, and this is that. But there's a problem going on in America. As soon as it's people that don't like Ticket TV. And as soon as I say, I like Ticket TV, fuck, fuck Kwame because he like him. And this isn't that. I'm saying that's dangerous and that's wrong. I'm saying that you don't have to like everything about a person. There could be a disagreement. Find the through line. And Candace Owens, Ben Shapiro, these people that I name, I think they're good at debating. We don't know how to debate in the black community. If you watch how many times, like when I was on your show, did you see how fast that brother talked over me? And I was let, I was listening to him talk. As soon as I try to respond, he, ah, ah, ah. in our community, we think getting a brother told or getting a woman told, that's debating and you won. That's not a debate. Over talking someone, you automatically lost. And so we got to start sharing ideals and talking to people for, for a perspective only and not to be right. We talk to people to try to embarrass them and not just to get their perspective on something. Right, though. I'm totally, I'm totally right there with you, man. I'm totally right. Because we out here, to me, a lot of us out here, we fighting the wrong, we fighting the wrong battle. You know what I'm saying, yep. bro? Like, like you said something the other day, I totally agree with like, bro, I'll be talking basketball and I just say something about a player that somebody don't like. I may say something about, oh, well, LeBron wasn't clutch. Man, these motherfuckers ready to take penitentiary risk over yes, some sir. shit like that. I'm like, God damn, man, motherfucker ready to goddamn. Oh, man, fuck this nigga, man. Oh, oh, pussy ass nigga. Oh, nigga, I'm going to pull up. Nigga, I'm going to pull up, nigga. Over LeBron, nigga, over basketball talk. Not yep. over real life, but these same niggas, these same niggas, when the shit like this going down right now, when you got, when you got this white woman on national TV trying to X out black women, Trying to step on black they women's fly. shoulders, like you say. These yep. niggas ain't got none of that energy, bro. And I don't like that shit, man. They don't have none of that same energy, bro. They only they, have energy for dumb for shit. For black people. Yeah, they, right. Listen, they took, the, they took the bite out these niggas. It's niggas that'll get a life sentence for, for shooting and hurting black people. But if the person is white, they won't even look that way. They took the bite out these niggas. Thanks, dog. But, but man, I appreciate you. I respect you. I think we're gonna end with you. I got to go to goddamn bed. My daughter wanna go up and go to swimming in the morning. <laughs> boy, she had me at that goddamn pool all have to do. Boy, Lord have mercy. Man, big dog, but, man. Look, I appreciate everything that you bring to the table, man. Yes, sir. Like I said, man, you know, listen, everybody that's listening, man, let's not all be a part of the bullshit all the time, man. We is man out here talking about solutions and stuff like that that have to be, you know taken seriously man we need to start putting our our foot on these people next that's trying to fuck our people up with these opportunities like i said it's beautiful black women that's out here trying to get opportunities in the work field on tv that's getting stepped on that's getting pushed to the back mm -hmm. i told y'all look up taylor rooks look up mm -hmm. the girl malika andrews look up see, Maria I, I heard that on, i heard that on your last joint Right. And see, and a lot of people told me they ain't even know who Taylor Rooks is. She's been out I here doing all the she been out here doing all the underground interviews with the cats in the league. 
Mm-hmm. But they for some, and she know basketball. Yep. She's she talented at what she do. She professional, but for some reason, they want to hide her and prop up chicks like Rachel Nichols who will go pull a black man case. And this yep. is dangerous. And all you mm-hmm. niggas that's taking up for Rachel Nichols in the NBA, y'all need to listen to this. This shit is dangerous because that same shit can turn back on you. I'm telling you right now. She pulling up niggas' cases on national TV. Mm-hmm. And I want y'all to ask her that. When y'all was sitting up there talking that talk, y'all was talking and, and taking up for her, why didn't they have nobody propped up talking and allowing Paul Pierce to, to have another chance? Why they fire him off the rip? Why, yep. why ain't all these people come propped up around Paul Pierce to give him an opportunity to say, you know what, look, man, I'm working at a job. Maybe what I did, didn't do was right. Boom, let's move forward. Nah, they mm-hmm. fired his ass. But don't nobody yep. want to answer, ask those questions. You understand what I'm saying? But this chick can come pull up niggas' cases on national TV and still have a job. But they, they suspended the, the girl who took the tape of what Rachel Nichols was saying, who, who dared to take the tape. I heard talking this dumb ass shit and give it to Maria Taylor. And now they're trying to buck break Maria Taylor by mm-hmm. not offering her the money they originally offered her was the five million. Now mm-hmm. they cut it to three. And they're gonna sweep that shit under the rug, get her out of there, and, and all this shit going on. And we worried about fucking up each other instead yep. of instead of taking care of this bullshit and putting ourselves in powerful positions and putting our people in powerful positions. So man, yep. I, I love what you're doing, man. I support what you're doing, man. And like I said, man, I appreciate it, dog. Salute to you, my brother. And and guess what? I love what you're doing. Cause guess what? I didn't know the information that you shared. And I never came to YouTube acting like I'm the baddest motherfucker ever. Carcino, self-talk, hits by all these guys. You, the information that you guys are able to find and bring. I didn't know that. Nope. A lot of people didn't know the information you brought forward. So that's why we got to build a community. We always say we want a YouTube community, but it seemed like whoever got them making the most money or doing this, they re- they don't reach down. They talk down. And they make sure people stay down. Me, I'm like, if I was to ever get a platform, I said this years ago. I said, well, if I was to ever get a platform, I'm going to let everybody eat. Because it's about, I, I don't know if you got kids or whatever, but why wouldn't I want your black kids to eat like my black kids eat? Why would I want to take that away from you? And it's easy to do. Just let a motherfucker use your video. They can put some commentary on it and everybody eating. If we really care about black people, why why is the first thing out of our mouth is worried about how much money another black person got? They worried about your super chest, dog. Instead of worrying about, instead of thinking about what this man said, he gonna do with him. Yeah. Forget about what he said he gonna do with him. You worried that he getting them. You worried that people supporting them. Man, mm-hmm. don't do that. Don't never have your hand in another in another man, another woman pocket, man. Don't do that, y'all. We gotta love each other. Got to build each other up, support each other. Even if we disagree on some things, that don't mean you got to go say, fuck this nigga or fuck that nigga or make all these videos talking this crazy ass shit, man. Mm-hmm. You no, know, we can talk some shit and, and move. For, you know how it is in the barbershop. Well, I'm Absolutely. going there, talk yeah. a little shit. Man, you, you leave out. Hey, it's, hey, I see you next week, nigga. It's all it's love. I'll be back talking some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, hey, come on, man. But these niggas, man, I, I tell you, bro, these motherfuckers be taking this shit to the extreme on social media, man. But it's all in the game, man. Hey, I'm a holler at you, dog. You have a good night. Shout, shout out your channels before you go. I know you got. You say you got two of them, right? Man, I got like ten channels, man. But you know, I, I man, I, man, I shout, shout, shout out your channels, man. They need, they need to know because the information you bring is different, and but it's still effective. It's still needed. So right. shout nah, out. I mean, it, 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 honestly, I just had a common, a common enemy with you and Stephen A. Smith. I hadn't liked this dude. For the longest time because of what he was doing and that really where i was started with him a mm-hmm. long a long time ago that's why i started like five or six six seven years ago i would say when i really started making videos about him mm-hmm. uh, uh on my on my main channel which is ticket tv mm-hmm. I, I you know i just didn't like the excessive shit that he was doing mm-hmm. and then you know we never heard nothing from you you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. dog because you never it was just like you ignored the shit you just did what you was doing and people try to paint it like you was a coward or some shit because you didn't say nothing. And I told people, I said, nah, he ain't saying nothing because that nigga making multi-millions of dollars. And if he walk up and punch Stephen A. Smith fucking lights out, Stephen A. Smith is going to call yeah. the police. He yep. going to call the police. He going he gonna to goddamn go, go to, the, to the quickest lawyer he can find, take this nigga to court, and sue this nigga for everything he got. Yep. So y'all got to be, y'all got to understand, he played the smart game. 
Mm-hmm. But now, since Stephen A still want to talk shit, he still want to go to these high schools and colleges. And now, now you say, now I'm going to talk some shit. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm going to put my foot on his neck. And y'all see he put that lame ass response out. And he ain't yeah. said anything since. Them yeah. dudes ain't trying to say nothing back to Kwame because they already know. Now, the gloves is off, nigga. Now, he can run with you all day. That's why yep. Chris Broussard, that's why Rob Parker, that's why all them dudes is quiet now. You understand what I'm saying, dog? But hey, yeah, wallet mouth. Don't, don't, don't forget wallet mouth. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you said that nigga look like a back of an ankle. I said, God damn, that's a back of an ankle. Ugly than a motherfucker. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> hey, you know, look. You know, sometimes that motherfucker be ashy too and shit. Like, God damn, nigga Rob Parker get fucked up out here. <laughs> For real. But yeah, y'all can catch me on Ticket TV, man. And uh, my other channel, my other main channel is Pro Basketball Updates. Yep. And then I got a black channel where I just talk about straight black news. And that's Ticket TV Black Media Network. So y'all can check me out. Those those are the main three channels I got pretty much, man. And um, man, I just appreciate y'all, man. If y'all ain't subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and sir. um, You know, I, I, I salute the brother. I salute the sisters, too, that's doing great things. A lot of mm-hmm. sisters that's supporting you, too, man. So I always want to salute the sisters. And the last and thing I want to say before facts. I we gotta say spitting facts because she she was cold. She came. Facts. There's a young lady named Spitting Facts. Oh Lord, she facts. ripped the dude up on my page. Oh oh, hey, no doubt. And the last thing I want to say before I leave is this: we can't get to a mindset to where because somebody said this on one of my streams today, man. It made me feel a way. I I felt bad about this shit. Where we was talking about just a girl. We was talking about we wanted to see Maria Taylor get her money. You know, mm-hmm. one guy came in and he said, well, nigga, she ain't hitting game one and she just a journalist. Why is you worried about? And I said, look, bro. And then he went to a different angle and said, well, well fuck, she don't need to be making the same money we making anyways. Listen, we can't have that type of mentality. Man. Yeah, I got a daughter. What the fuck? Yeah, if you got a woman that's out here getting that bag, we got to celebrate that. We got to respect and appreciate that because that's uplifting ourselves as well. You can't look at a situation where you got a girl, a wife or something like that. And maybe mm-hmm. she making more money than you, and you looking at that jealousy, envy, and that's boiling inside of you and fucking your fucking your brain up and fucking your family up and fucking your relationship up. So yep. we gotta think differently as far as that and uplift the sisters, man. So yeah, dog, salute to you, my brother. All love to you, man. Salute to you, my brother. No doubt. You already know, man. Yes, sir. I'm gone. All right. Shit, I'm gone too. I'm tired in a motherfucker. I'm gonna be as sleepy as hell. I'm over this motherfucker. Bobblehead, I'm bobbleheading back this motherfucker. Y'all have a nice night. God bless y'all. Shout out to everybody in the super chat. Let me see. Let me read a couple of. Uh, uh oh, shit. I can't read. I'm tired tonight. Fuck this. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. There's so many. I, I appreciate all y'all though. Y'all done help get some kids some shoes. And trust me, we're gonna have a good time in August. And all of y'all are welcome.